Comfort is their business. Visit NukemanCompany.com. 3 o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones is up 81 points to 39,394. Market update brought to you by Habitat for Humanity Restore. Now selling brand new solid wood custom cabinets. Learn more at TriangleRestores.org. Love guarded by Keels. Gets a screen. Pulls up for three. Got it! Caleb from straight away! Jones with one. Jones puts it up at the buzzer. Yes! He ties the game! Joining with a long rebound. Kicks ahead to Smith. Three ball right side. Bang! Shotgun snap. Bryce Young. Pressure off the backside. Throw to the end zone. Chark pulls it in with his fingertips. And another chance. And the save's made by Anderson. And the fans will tell you, did you have a good night? On drive with Tim Donnelly on 99.9 The Fan. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I'm Tim Donnelly, Dennis Cox producing the show, as always. It feels like there's a lull, doesn't there? A little bit. It, feel, it feels like that, I don't know, we're all catching our breath for a second. Do you ever run the uh, the beeper in, in uh, the beep test? Yeah, beep drill, beep in, test, in, yes. In, in like elementary school. Remember... <laughs> This is a strange way to start the show. Remember in elementary school where you just go run a mile and then like 10 minutes later you'd be in math class? Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, but the beep test, you'd run to one side of the gym and the other, beep, and then if you got there before the beep, you got a chance to uh, take a little breath. Feels like we're taking a little breath right now in the NCAA tournament. But guess who can't take a little breath? The 16 teams still in the NCAA tournament. Specifically, the coaches. Right, players, the breath has to be literal. They have to go catch, uh, you know, recover, uh, rest and recovery, and ice, and make sure your training room is taken care of and everything else. But coaches, this is where you make your name as one of the better coaches in postseason play. How much of an advantage can you get your team with a little less than a week of preparation? How? What is the perfect amount of, of 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 studying your opponent without getting too far into the? They think we're going to do this, so they are going to do that. So we will do this. So they will do that. So we. They don't know that we know that they know that we know that they like to shoot the three. Like like how far is not is too far, and how far is not far enough. Everyone wants to talk about the coaches in the NCAA tournament that set their teams up teams up the best. Well, most of that is actually earned between games. So let's start with NC State. How does Kevin Keats win the week on Tuesday? Right? How does Kevin Keats win the week tonight? I'd say there's two ways for every coach, and and one of them is very important for Keats. One way is maximizing the buzz. From a a 10,000 feet in the air, bird's eye view perspective, NC State has a, a a lot of lenses, a lot of camera lenses pointed at them right now. Build the buzz. Make sure every transfer out there knows that you just made the Sweet 16 after a dramatic run through the ACC tournament, and darn near everyone in your rotation is a transfer. Make sure every booster knows that those transfers with a name, image, and likeness uh, aren't necessarily going to be cheap in the future. So if they want to keep seeing this type of story, they gotta they got to give cash to the collectives. Benefit from the buzz. Then the other thing involves the big fella, DJ Burns. How do you use Marquette's preparation for DJ Burns against them? Guess who's not sneaking up on anybody from now until forever? DJ Burns. DJ Burns. (laughs) You know, Texas Tech may have been like, wow. And we didn't see this on all the film this year. Guess who's not going to feel, wow, didn't see this coming? Marquette. Because Shaka Smart's no dummy. Marquette has essentially one 6'9 player that plays big minutes. They have another guy that's 6'11 that plays, I don't know, 12, 15 minutes a game. Everyone else is at a massive size disadvantage to Burns. And even those two guys that match up with him height-wise, the heaviest of the two is 220, 220 pounds. That's giving up, like, I don't know, a seventh grader's worth of weight between that guy and DJ Burns. Neither is going to be able to push him around by themselves. 
So part of me says smell blood in the water and give the ball to DJ Burns. That's what Kevin Keats should do, especially when DJ Burns, as he told PMT, the podcast, he can sense when players are getting frustrated and, and use that to his advantage. I wouldn't say that, but I'd say I can tell definitely when they begin to, you know, um, I can tell when they get frustrated because that's when they'll start to, you know, say little slick things under their breath, like, you know, to themselves, like they try to, you know, hype themselves up. But when we're having a game like that, it's it's hard to it's hard to not keep going. He can sense it. Smells blood in the water. But here's where you get into the they don't know we know. Here's where you get into the chess game. Here's where you get into if they do this, we can do that. The obvious thing for NC State to do is to put the entire team on DJ Burns' shoulders and say, carry us to the Elite Eight. They don't have anyone that can match up with your size, big guy. Well, where's our ticket? We're getting on the Express. But how about this? As I said, Shaka Smart, the head coach of Marquette, uh, who's been through the rigmarole of of the, the NCAA tournament, has been to a Final Four. He's not a stupid guy. So if it's that obvious that the plan should be, get the ball to DJ Burns, he's probably going to have something for you. Right? He's going to know everything I just told you. He's going to know how tall his biggest players are. He's going to know how heavy his biggest players are. He's going to have watched both the the opening round and the round of 32 with DJ Burns. They're going to have something up their sleeves for handling it and maybe three or four things they're going to try. So when they double or triple team DJ Burns, what does NC State have as an answer? Who do they want to set up? Who do they want running into the three? Who do they want getting the ball and driving kick? Who do they want as the other big guy? Or what about this? When Marquette says, forget guarding him, we're going to go small and try to make him unusable on defense. How do you answer that? Can you play him if they go with four guys, five guys that can all shoot the three? And that means DJ Burns might have to get out on the perimeter. Like, how do you handle that? That's the stuff that's going to make Kevin Keats another gigantic bonus. We keep hearing about how many contract bonuses hey, this guy yeah. has. That, that's, that's what's going to make him the next chunk of change, is having an answer to that question. Right? It, it, it's... There's two ways to handle it. The the easy, I don't want to say easy way. The simple way is they don't have anybody that can stop DJ. Let's give him the ball. But when you have a week, you might as well get to plan B, plan C, right? What happens if they triple team him? Who are they leaving open and how can we use that person to our advantage? They don't know. We know they know, <laughs> Right. They don't know that we know that it's obvious that we're going to give the ball to DJ Burns and they're going to have a plan to stop it. This is where self-scout comes into play, right? Look at your favorite assistant coach and say, how would you stop us, right? If you had their personnel, if you had Marquette's personnel, two seed, you had you had this scorer who's kind of crafty on the wing, you have a, a, a an undersized big, right? It, it, how would you take Marquette's staff, Marquette's uh, 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 roster, and beat us. Now, you don't want to do that like 10 different times, right? That's where you can can bog down. You don't want to overload the players, but it's worth it. You don't want to be figuring it out at halftime. I remember coaching, when I was an assistant coach, we made the NCAA tournament three times. And I remember one of the first times that I remember coaching in the NCAA tournament, it was we tried to do too much to alter what we did Mm -hmm. because that's what the other team was doing. And we lost our identity as a team. I remember some of the frustration just pouring out during the game. It's because we're asking our players to be something and do something that we're not. I think that's something you have to keep in mind as a coach. Like, yeah, you want to adjust, but you don't want to lose your identity either. If you're going to try and ask your players to do something they've never done all season, that's where frustration and thinking and all that kind of stuff starts to come in. So, yeah, you got to tweak and adjust, but you can't lose who you are in terms of your identity as a team. I hear you. I don't – first of all, we've asked this question 900 times about NC State. What is their identity? Like, what is the thing that they've been all season? I don't know. <laughs> well, I think, well, I think they figured it out over the last okay. couple of weeks. Yes, they figured yeah. it out. Which is a lot of DJ. Yeah, exactly. It's you, a lot of DJ, and it's it's Diara. And, and yes, you're, you're, you're right. They have 
at the last possible second gotten a pretty good idea what, who they are. And you don't want to give that give back that momentum. But also, because they figured it out at the last possible second, there hasn't been much time for the opponents to counter any of it because yeah. it, it's not like it's been on film. Meanwhile, if they figured out who they were in December – then you think by the ACC tournament you would have seen every different uh, counteraction that that a, that a team can run. So it is it is playing that fine line of hey we figured out what we are let's not give back this momentum but at the same time let's respect Shaka Smart and what Marquette does and not expect them to be so confused by, yeah. by what we're doing and and that's part of the 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 awesomeness of the tournament is you alternate between having a week to prepare. And having like thirty six hours to prepare, and and it's going to test both styles of coaching. Can you do it rapid fire? Can you do it with a little bit more time? And that's what state has to do. The, the rapid fire. That's the that's the one where we're like, all right, we have a little bit of a scout here, but let's just roll with it. Yeah. So in, in in lacrosse, when we we're coaching, we actually your second game was on the very next day. Mm. So sometimes you didn't even know who you were playing because, like, whoa, there's two potential opponents. Yep. You don't know. So it was just kind of like, all right, we know what yeah, we do. Get to, we get to sleep. When you wake up, we'll tell you who we're playing. Exactly. That's really <laughs> what it was. Uh, the drive with Tim Donnelly, 99-9, the fan. We're going to play that game for all three triangle teams. What can they do on Tuesday or on Wednesday in preparation to win their Sweet 16 game coming up this weekend? Hey, Dennis Cox here with my friends over at the Law Tigers. The Law Tigers, Tobacco Road, Harley-Davidson, Shiny Side Paint, and your Carolina Hurricanes, they're all teaming up together to give the ultimate Canes fan a custom Hurricanes 2023 Harley-Davidson soft tail motorcycle. By the way, it's going to be given away on Friday next week, on April 5th, live on the ice at PNC. So you need to enter now. Go to Caniacs. Bike.com. That's KaniacsBike.com for your chance to win this custom-painted beauty of a motorcycle. Again, do it now. Enter today. We're literally approaching the final hour here for you to enter to win this bike. Go to KaniacsBike.com. You can give it as a gift to somebody if you don't want to keep it for yourself. Maybe like your favorite radio show producer. KaniacsBike.com. Law Tigers, North Carolina's motorcycle lawyers. Law Tigers is a network of independent law firms who are members of the American Association of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. Law Tigers is not a law firm. North Carolina is up next. Everyone wants to talk about the best coaches. What can Hubert Davis do today, tomorrow, in the midweek to make sure Carolina is ready to win in the Sweet 16? Stick around. Evan, Canty, and Michelle are unsportsmanlike. The cost to climb Mount Everest, it's $55,000 to climb Mount Everest. That's outrageous. To climb a mountain. They got too much people with too much damn money, though. $55,000 to There's climb no a mountain? Way. There's no way I would oh, ever consider that. You know how many beach vacations I could go on for $55,000? Exactly. <laughs> Mornings from 6 to 9 on 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. BetMGM has an unreal deal for sports fans in North Carolina. You can turn $5 into $150 in bonus bets instantly when you place your first wager. Easily stretch your sports betting excitement to the absolute max. Simply download the BetMGM app and sign up using code VICTORIA150. Then place a $5 wager on any of your favorite sports. You'll receive $150 in bonus bets instantly regardless of your wager's outcome. And if you think the action-packed fun stops there, the king of sportsbooks has plenty of surprises in store. Check out daily promotions, nail by same game parlays, live bets, and so much more. Download the app in North Carolina today and use code Victoria150 and get $150 in bonus bets instantly from your first wager. Because you're not just playing with any ordinary online gaming site, you're playing with the king of sports books. See betmgm.com for terms 21 plus only North Carolina only new customer offer subject to eligibility requirements. Rewards are non withdrawable bonus bets that expire in seven days. Gambling problem? Call 877 718 5543 or visit more than a game.nc. Daka. It's bow time. <laughs> Sometimes the craving for Bojangles Supremes is so strong you just gotta have them. Even when your gas tank is on empty and Bojangles is still 10 miles down the highway. Nothing beats the flavor of Bojangles Juicy Golden Supremes, especially when they're part of a perfect combo with four boldly seasoned chicken Supremes, a made from scratch biscuit, fixin', and some legendary iced tea. The only thing that can satisfy your hunger is that delicious southern flavor. So when the craving is supreme, put the pedal to the metal. It's bow time. <laughs> There's no time like bow time. Time to stop whatever you're doing for some of that bodacious Bojangles flavor. Satisfy your craving for flavor and your passion for boneless chicken with Bojangles Four Piece Supremes Dinner. Four perfectly seasoned Cajun fried whole breast tenderloin fillets. 
choice of fixin'. A made-from-scratch buttermilk biscuit and Bojangles' legendary iced tea. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's Bow Time. You know what happens when a smart group of medical professionals get together and commit to a technology designed to relieve your aching joints without surgery? It's called QC Kinetics. And this guy knows the power of a solid team. Emmett Smith, football legend and Dancing with the Stars champ. This elite medical group, some of them orthopedic doctors, got together and said, why are we prescribing so many medications? Why are we sending so many people to surgery in droves? Let's change this. The answer, natural biologics, our own healing properties, and the outcome is the country's largest provider of non-surgical regenerative treatments, QC Kinetics. Actually, the real outcome are the tens of thousands of patients who finally got their quality of life back without surgery. Thanks to QC Kinetics. Call QC Kinetics, 919-400-5473. That's 919-400-5473. In Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest, 919-400-5473. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus 100 bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a new Samsung Galaxy A15 for just $99. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Yeah! Good talk. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 41420 Instant activation on single silver unlimited plan or higher required. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Everybody wants to talk about the coaches, including us. Right? Coaches get reputations of being great postseason coaches. All they have to do is make it to the tourney and they'll have their team more prepared. Well, they, yes, in-game, you can call a great timeout. You can make a great substitution. You can get out the little uh, clipboard, whiteboard with the, the basketball court drawn on it already and draw up a great baseline inbounds play. Get yourself a, a, you know, a bucket late in the game. But so much of coaching happens ahead of time. So much of, of that reputation by coaches is earned Tuesday, Wednesday, when you play on Thursday or Friday. So so what can Hubert Davis win this week, today, tomorrow, right? Whether they're traveling and he's, you know, I'm sure in luxurious style traveling with, uh, you know, iPads and laptops to watch all the film he could possibly think of, or even before they travel. First of all, if, if you need motivation from, from North Carolina or for North Carolina, which I don't think you do. They seem like a pretty internally motivated squad. Uh, but if you do, the sports books have UNC as a four or five point favorite, depending on where you're looking. But ESPN's matchup predictor actually has them as the underdog. Gives Alabama a 52.3% chance to win the game. I don't know. Haters, right? Doubters. Whatever puts a chip on your shoulder. Those darn computers. Those numbers with algorithms and equations. Uh so there you go, a little bit of motivation. Just, you don't have to use it, just saying. Uh, but but I'll give you this. This is where UNC is in a situation that they have not been in all year. They've played a lot of different basketball teams. they played different styles. They've played everything from, from UVA blah, to a high-scoring team that wants to get up and down. But this is the first time all year that R.J. Davis and UNC will face a team that has a player that averaged more per game, points scored, than R.J. Davis. Mark Sears for Alabama averages 21.5 points per game. R.J. Davis, the ACC Player of the Year, the All-American, right, the consensus first-team all-conference player, averages 0.2 less, 21.3. Sears shoots a few less threes per game but shoots a higher percentage and gets to the free throw line a few more times a game. He's a legitimate perimeter scorer, 6'1", but can fill it up. 
Does Hubert Davis turn this into a Seth Trimble day? Seth Trimble off the bench is, is, I mean, definitely on par with anyone else they have as a perimeter defender. Probably their best. Yes, he's their best. Do you turn to him and say, all right, Seth? And by the way, Seth has made some big plays. Uh, we saw maybe the highlight of the ACC tournament from an individual athleticism mm -hmm. play, uh, a dunk he had going down the middle of the lane. Um, we've seen him block shots despite not being the tallest guy in the world. They get, what, three against Michigan State? He, he's a rim protector yeah. is what he said after the game. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's a Seth Trimble day, and that would be a little bit of a shakeup. He does play minutes, but if you if you gave him the personal challenge of stopping Sears or slowing him down, that would be a shakeup from what we've seen UNC do. But here's where I think, you know, Hubert really has to to kind of dig into what he wants to do. Alabama's offense can go. It's not just Sears. They can flat out fill it up. It's their identity. Their defense, however, is the exact opposite. They let other teams go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 80-plus points allowed per game this season. North Carolina has to decide, right, because I believe North Carolina has the perimeter players and the rebounders to – they can control the tempo a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying completely. You're not going to take Alabama and turn them into a – you know, 50 point per game team, but you, you can control the flow using RJ Davis, Armando Baycott, using Withers and, and, and Ingram as secondary rebounders. You have guys that can go in there and limit possessions. And then you can either run it up the floor or you can walk it up the floor, right? You can either run your half court offense, looking for a great shot, or you could try to get in transition and secondary transition. Is UNC comfortable getting into a shootout with, with Alabama? Or will they resist that? Will they try to drag it into the mud and make Alabama uncomfortable, even if it makes UNC uncomfortable a little bit? Yeah, their, their identity is to push, push the pace. There's something to be said for it'll make us uncomfortable, but it'll make them more uncomfortable, right? Because UNC is a much better defensive team than Alabama. Oh, yeah. That could be the decision that decides the outcome. Right, because if if you go into it saying we're going to beat Alabama at their own game, I mean Alabama, you you might do it because you have your own flamethrowers, you have your own big scores, you have your own ammunition to use. But at the same time, Alabama is not going to be uncomfortable in that. They're like, oh, cool, you want to get up and down, you want to run, you want to try to turn this into a score fest. Let's see who makes the most shots. Flip side, you could almost do exactly what Dennis was was warning about in an earlier segment, which is. Try, you can outthink yourself and say, oh, we're going we're gonna to make Alabama so uncomfortable without realizing how uncomfortable it's going to make you too, right? It's like, oh, we're, we're going to make Mark Sears so off his rhythm, and then you could make R.J. Davis off his rhythm. And you're like, oh, wait, wait a second. That's, that's not what I was intending here. So it, it's really about knowing your team, right? It's about knowing how good are they at playing the different styles. Because I'll give you this. The ACC, we talked about it yesterday, has really made all of us that are that are championing the ACC look pretty darn smart in the tournament thus far. Four, four teams make the round of 64, all four still alive in the Sweet 16. You look at the Big Ten, they had a whole bunch of teams in, two made the, the Sweet 16. You look at the SEC, they had eight teams tied for the most to make the, the, um, the, the tournament, two make the, the Sweet 16. One of the reasons I'm seeing described by analysts and experts is the ACC is the Goldilocks. Yeah. What I mean by that is the Big Ten, physical, right? They're like talent, finesse, psh, punching yeah. you in the face. No, thank you. SEC is like talent, finesse. We want to score a bunch. We want to get up and down. They can't play in the half court. Physical? Uh-oh, we just got punched in the face. Yeah. The ACC is Goldilocks. They're like, cool, you want to you speed it up? We got you. We played against the the Wake Forests and, and the, the schools that want to go get up and down and score a bunch mm -hmm. of points. Oh, you want to drag it down into the mud? We played against UVA, right? We, we, we've done it all to get here. So is that the advantage? Is UNC saying we're more comfortable being uncomfortable coming from where we came from? So let's turn this what you know everyone's going to bet the over on UNC Alabama where everybody thinks there's all these scores there's RJ Davis there's Sears they both average XYZ points and and let's turn it into a, a muddy game played in quicksand because the SEC doesn't like doing that but we have to occasionally cuz we're going to play the teams in the ACC that want to do it that way 
It's another option that Hubert Davis has to decide, and it's another way that a decision you make like Tuesday afternoon where you look to your assistants and say, hey, let's make sure they're ready for this type of game could end up being the difference between winning and playing in the Elite Eight or going home and saying, why did we try to outscore Alabama? We're the better defensive team. It's 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 That's why you get paid the big bucks, Hubert. That's why you get the cool shoes. You might be able to balance it both because with their physicality on defense and their aggressiveness, especially when they're, when they're rebounding, you can actually force Alabama to play frantic because they're trying to push through, that, push through all that, but you, in turn, can still play fast. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a difference between t- playing fast and playing frantic. There's a difference between the two. You start getting two. into like the, the Mr. Miyagi sayings, the like, well, be fast, don't hurry. Well, yeah, it, they're, they're, <laughs> le- there's a legit difference between the two. And I remember when I was coaching, we had I was instilling that same type thing, is that you can cause Alabama with you playing tough defense and getting transition buckets. They feel like we have mm-hmm. to match every single possession, hence why they start playing frantic. I mean, you tell me how to get anybody playing frantic, I'm going to say that's a good plan. Yeah. You you, you, you get them frazzled, uh, skittish, whatever the word is that you used to describe it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like your chances. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan, and I want to tell you about my friends over at Window Nation. March is coming to an end. Uh, that means spring is really here in full force. What that means, if it's a, you know, I, I go in the backyard, I play with my my two year old, soon to be three year old. His birthday is coming up, uh, and it, the wind strikes me every single time. And guess what else that means? That's that's the natural way they're going to check the strength of your windows, right? The wind might expose cracks, leaking. Maybe it makes it so your your, your windows are sticky. Maybe it makes it so all that air that you are pegging to heat and cool inside is escaping through those cracks and those leaky seals. So go ahead and call Window Nation. They'll come out and do a consultation, right? No obligation, completely free. They'll look at your windows. They'll tell you, hey, they're great. Or, hey, this is all the different ways we can save you money. This is all the different ways we can increase the value of your home. You may not realize it, but putting new windows in actually legitimately boosts the value of your home at resale. So go ahead and give them a call uh, for a free, no obligation quote now. Buy two windows, get two free, zero down, zero interest, no payments for 24 months, all the good deals. Call them 866-90-NATION. That's 866-90-NATION. Or you can go to their website to schedule your no-obligation free quote now. It's windownation.com. That's windownation.com. We've talked NC State. We've talked UNC. How can Duke and John Shire, who's proven trying to prove his medal as a head coach in the postseason, what can he do on a Tuesday or a Wednesday to help the Blue Devils win? Stick around. Hey, y'all. Dylan at Oak City Customs here. With spring upon us and summer right around the corner, it's time to enjoy your backyard or outdoor entertainment space. At Oak City Customs, we offer a wide variety of items for outdoor living, including pergolas, shade sails, fire pits, and outdoor bar areas. In addition to dining room tables and other items for the inside of your home, we would love to make your vision for your outdoor space a reality this season. Come visit us at our showroom in Zebulon or check us out at oakcitycustoms.com. We buy any car. Why sell your car at WeBuyAnyCar.com? Because when you trade in, you're dealing with a dealer. And sure, they're interested in a good deal. For them, not for you. Come to WeBuyAnyCar.com instead. All we do is buy cars. You get in, get out, and get paid at a fair price. So don't take chances with a trade-in. Go to WeBuyAnyCar.com for a free online valuation. Find out how much your car's worth at WeBuyAnyCar.com. It's time for the Coastal Scholar Athlete of the Month. Hello, this is Creighton Blackwell from Coastal Credit Union, here to celebrate our next Scholar Athlete of the Month. We are here at South Garner High School, where we're going to celebrate the next Scholar Athlete, Patience Ifedon. Patience has been an awesome addition to our women's basketball team. Patience has been playing since her freshman year. So to be a year-round athlete and to have a 3.9 um, GPA, that takes a lot of dedication and hard work. I just never forget like what I, why I'm doing the stuff that I'm doing, why I'm a student athlete and why I play basketball. And she's a leader, very much a leader on this team, and she plays a very important role in all our lives. She'll tell you the truth of what you do wrong, but she'll like make it sound nice. She won't try to make it sound mean. My teammates, they show me stuff that I didn't even know about myself, and they push me to be great every day. I mean, I'll, obviously I do the same for them. 
And my coach, she's been, she's been everything to me. Um, my mom calls her my godmother, but I don't know about that yet. We'll, we'll work on that, but she's been, she's been everything to me. She's made me a better person, and she's just grown my game to a whole nother level. Congratulations, patience. Thank you. For 20 years, 99.9 The Fan and Coastal Credit Union have been recognizing scholar athletes at Triangle Area Schools. If you'd like to nominate a high school athlete, head to WRALsportsfan.com keyword award. Hey guys, sound familiar? Your energy's not the same. The weight's starting to creep up. You're a little forgetful. And to make matters worse, you're not sleeping well. Well, it could be low T, but you shouldn't go one more day dealing with these symptoms. Help is available at QC Kinetics. They'll help diagnose the issue and get you back to feeling like yourself again. QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. They use biologic treatments encouraging your body to optimize the hormone levels you need to boost stamina, provide more mental clarity, and improve your metabolism. It starts with a complimentary consultation and comprehensive exam. One quick office visit, and you'll have next steps to swing those hormone levels back into balance. All using the protocols QC Kinetics is known for around the country. Most importantly, you'll be back to yourself, and that's important. So call right now for your complimentary consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 919-400-5473. That's 919-400-5473. Located in Raleigh, 919-400-5473. Did you know one of the best investments you can make? It's in yourself. At My Computer Career, in just a few months, you could start your new career in the high-demand, recession-resistant field of information technology. Isn't it time you invest in you and start a career in networking, cybersecurity, AI, or upskill to boost your current IT career? So, get the ROI you deserve at My Computer Career. No experience necessary. Start now at mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available for qualified students, including the GI Bill. Hey, friends, Paul Eihander from 99.9 The Fan for my team at FanDuel. And I want you to say goodbye to busted brackets because FanDuel lets you bet on every game of the tournament. Whether you're betting on a big upset or a one seed, it's time to go dancing with America's number one sports book. You can bet on everything from the money line, pick those winners, to over-unders, to which team cuts down the nets, all on an app that's safe, secure, and super easy to use. So take the court with $200 in bonus bets, win or lose, when you place your first $5 bet. Just visit FanDuel.com slash Paul, Paul with a capital P, and get started. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. 21 plus and present in North Carolina. First online real money wager only. $10 deposit required. Bonus issued as non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See full terms at fanduel.com slash sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan, grooving out of break. Dennis just gave me some news during the break. Uh, R.J. Davis, finalist for is it the Naismith Award. Naismith National Player of the Year Award. Uh, so congratulations to him. It's an honor just to be nominated. I, I mean, <laughs> your, your consensus first team All-American across many different outlets. So the fact that you're a finalist for the Naismith does not shock me at all. But you know what? Well-deserved and well-earned. There you go. Uh, also, basketball fans, The Drive will be broadcasting live from the Carolina Alehouse in Cary on Friday afternoon. That's this Friday uh, from 3 to 7. We'll be, we'll be out there live. We'll get you primed for a historic night of Sweet 16 college basketball. We will also, obviously, with that much time to talk, uh, with that much time to put on a show for you, we'll be recapping the previous night when UNC plays. Uh, so UNC fans, state fans, Duke fans, college basketball fans, join us early, grab your seats, and get your orders in before tip-off of Friday's games. The Drive, live, Friday, from Carolina Alehouse in Cary. That is Carolina Alehouse, the Cary edition. Uh, both Dennis and I will be there. We'll Let's be putting go. on a show. I'm pumped. So am I. Well, I'm pumped. I mean, for for the games period. But add in Carolina Alehouse. Yeah. Add in a little food and drink. Add in some good camaraderie. Add in the the college basketball atmosphere. You know, and and the games are a bit further away this this weekend. So there's probably less people <laughs> driving to games. Um, yeah, Dallas and L.A. That's a, a tiny bit further. Uh, if, than, you're, if you're than driving to L.A., you better Char- Charlotte and Pittsburgh. Get started. Um, 
So and Brooklyn. So uh, so yeah, that's all at Carolina Alehouse and Carrie this Friday. Our show will be live from there. Now let's look at Duke. John Shire, I think, is is in a really interesting position because if there's one thing we know about John Shire as the head coach, right? There's a lot we know about him as a player I and mean, did, did a whole bunch of stuff at Duke, but uh, national champion, huh? But as a coach, we know he can recruit his tail off, right? First overall recruiting class, second overall recruiting class, and then the one coming in next year is expected to be the first overall headline by Cooper Flack. It's the schematic stuff. It's the in-game coaching. It's the game-to-game adjustments that I think the fans are still waiting to see more from him, and it's where he can continue to develop, right? There's only so many places you can go from the number one overall recruiting class, uh, right? And, and, And there's a little bit more to be desired when it comes to the the schematics of it well guess what you're in the sweet 16 and you're going to be playing chess with kelvin sampson it's a good opportunity to prove your doubters wrong kelvin sampson the head coach of houston he's had ironically if you separate recruiting and coaching uh he's had his brushes of controversy and recruiting violations but he has had success in the tourney right so it's maybe a little flipped right he has had a ton of success in the past four years at Houston since he's gotten it cranking with the Cougars, right? Since he got the 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 <laughs> since he got the program where he wants it to be, he has really been able to keep it up, and he, and he's built off of each year, and he has an appearance in the Final Four, and he has a bunch of Sweet Sixteens, and 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 he's proven that part of it. That's not to say it's it's paint by numbers. If I'm Duke, I'm looking at Houston and going, what the heck am I looking at? I, I almost, Today, I caught myself for like 20 minutes just trying to explain what Houston is. They are an unusual team. They are, point blank, the best defensive team in the country. Okay? And, and I think we all are kind of aware of that. If you watch college basketball, right, you – even if you're you're watching a game and there's like tomorrow Houston's playing they're great defense like it's just part of their identity right during the ins and outs as they promote the game for the next day it's it's the best defensive team in the country Houston takes on whoever they're taking on the next day but I didn't realize how good they were and I didn't realize how unusual their roster is constructed they are the first team in the 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 statistical rankings in fewest points allowed that makes sense. They are the number one in the statistical rankings and fewest field goal attempts, attempts allowed. So it's like, all right, they're scoring less, but they're actually holding them to not taking many shots. But then they're also lowest in field goal percentage allowed. That almost doesn't make any sense, right? You're either you're either a really good defensive team because you keep the other team from shooting a bunch of shots, or you have them shoot a very low percentage on the shots they do take. They do both. They are number one in the country in both. Needless to say, they've allowed the fewest made field goals per game this year. Which, right there, that can twist your mind up into a pretzel enough, but every everything I learned about this team, it got weirder. They have no one on their roster even listed above 6'8". And usually they inflate those numbers. Especially, like, if you have a 7-footer, you're like, alright, we got our 7-footer, put him down there. Mm-hmm. If if your tallest guy is six six, you go, all right, somebody's gotta be six eight. And you just yeah. write down six right. eight. We need, put I your mean, shoes on. Yeah, exactly. Put a hat on. Do we have any hair gel? Can how how high can yeah. how high can we get that flat top? Uh like they, their highest listed player is six eight. So they are modern basketball to the fullest, right? Positionless basketball. Right, if you don't have anyone over six eight, who's your center? Right, who's your five man? Who's guarding the other team's five man? Well, it's got to be that guy. You you can't you can't out hustle or switch everything on screens to make yourself five inches taller. Somehow they've been doing it, but like you can't teach speed, you can't teach height. There's a few things you can't teach. So I look at it and say this is the decision. John Shire has to make. And I think the earlier he does it in the week, the more he can prepare the individual. 
I think there is is a neon sign like driving down the strip in Las Vegas on the side of a building with an arrow pointed to this game and it's just blinking bzz, 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 saying this has to be a Filipowski game. This has to be the Filipowski game. You know how like uh, Kelly Olenek will hit seven threes in a game and then everyone calls it the Kelly Olenek game? Mike Miller hit six threes in an NBA Finals game. One of them, he lost his shoe for the Heat, and it became the Mike Miller game. This has to be the the Kyle Filipowski game. John Shire and his coaching staff have to use their entire basketball brains, go back to every game they played in, coached in, studied on film, and use whatever motions, whatever plays, whatever movements they can to get Filipowski in position to play bully ball. They've got a guy who is 7-1, 7-2 against a team that has no one close. And oh, by the way, they're really good at, at foundational team defense. So you're going to have to just beat them mano a mano, right? You're just going to have to be better, right? I, I, it's it's the, the, the football thing where they have really good cover guys. They just have a secondary who's... They're just really good team. They're not going to be out of position. Guess what you have to do? Look to your number one wide receiver and say, make a play for me. Yeah, jump ball. Go like, get it. Go beat your guy, right? Get him turned around. I'll throw it to you. But but we need our number one to be a number one right now. Duke needs their seven-foot-plus number one to be a number one right now. Jared McCain will give you the spacing, right? Jeremy Roach will give you the spacing. If, if his finger's okay, uh, like the, the, all of that will be be there. You have shooters. This has to be a Filipowski game. So once you have the game plan, once you have everything kind of kind of uh, set up, right? Once we kind of have everything where you know it's going to happen, then it becomes the the other side of coaching, right? The one side is the X's and O's. The one side is the the savant stuff, right? The the coach in a dark room with the film going tick, 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 with the projector screen and you're looking for the one edge your team can have. That's one side. The other is management of personalities, right? Coaches, they're coaches, they're scouts, they're schemers, they're psychiatrists, they're peer mediators, they're friends, they're a little bit of everything. Then John Shire has to bring out his best motivational stuff to make Filipowski ready to play bully ball when he is in a position to do it. Right? Hype him up like he's like he's going to go fight Mike Tyson in his prime, where he has to know the only way he has a chance is if he knocks him out. And also prepare him to, you're probably going to eat a couple punches. Right? John Shire has to bring out, and I say this, not in a in a like play dirty way. He has to bring out the meanest version of Kyle Filipowski that we've seen at Duke. The version of Kyle Filipowski who says, I don't care if they foul me, I'm gonna dunk it anyway. That's the, like there is a moment and and I'm not comparing him to these individuals. Let's just get ahead of this. But when you are a physically imposing presence, there has to be the switch that flips that says the refs aren't going to give me cheap ticky tack calls. So I might as well make the, the 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 bucket anyway. Shaq had that moment. LeBron had that moment where it's like I'm just bigger than everyone else on the floor here. So if they bounce off of me, I'm not going to get the foul call. So I might as well dunk it anyway. And then you have to get somebody who we haven't seen do that, right? He's a perimeter guy. He has finesse. He has skill. And say, for, no, 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 take that, throw it out today. I don't want to see any finger rolls. I might make that a rule. Hey, Flip, see this guy right here? This is Sean Stewart. He sits next to me on the bench. Mm -hmm. Every time you finger roll it, you're going to flip spots. Even if it's just for a possession. If you finger roll it, you're coming out. I want dunks. I want strong layups. I want you to be like an eighth grader that just learned he could tap backboard because you do that on every layup once the first time you learn you can do it. Once you learn you can tap backboard every layup, you're like, eh, backboard, pop. Even if you're just getting the little rubber uh, rubber uh, 
whatever pad on the bottom yeah, of the you're, you're doing it every single time. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99-9 the fan. Could be a big Mark Mitchell game, too. Could be a Mark Mitchell game? Yeah. Could be a Sean Stewart game. Never know. What, what And what I mean by that is those guys, like Houston has athleticism, mm-hmm. but but Sean Stewart, Mark Mitchell have athleticism in size. Mark yeah. Mark Mitchell had one of the cooler uh, like new profile pictures of the the round of 32. He didn't have a great game, but he had one play where he was like Statue of Liberty dunking it, ball way above his head, and and – you know, he he looked like ready for this. Uh, the Olympics are coming up, right? They're they're pretty soon. Uh, once once every four years, I watch water polo. And do you know what is the craziest thing to watch water polo guys do? What they get like their entire torso above the water. Yeah, and they just hover there with their like. I guess their legs are doing it. It's it's absurd. He looked like that, except instead of the water line, that was like everybody's heads. His entire torso was just above everybody else in the game, and he was getting ready to dunk it. If Mark Mitchell can do that, maybe he can be the bully ball. And we know Sean Stewart is a is a twitchy, springy athlete. He just doesn't play as often. So maybe if Filipowski, they obey my rule, and he has a couple uh, finger rolls, Sean Stewart will get a chance to to get in there. Or foul trouble or an injury or any of those things. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. We have to talk Canes, everybody. Jake Gensel. Let's go. Jake Gensel gets to go back to Pittsburgh wearing a cane sweater tonight. All of the feels for him, I'm sure. I want you to go there to show them what they're missing, right? (laughs) Put a little salt on it, right? Don't make it all lovey-dovey. Make sure you're aware uh, of which, which... you know, team smart tech you ride with now for the the <laughs> Steve Carell fans. The 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 Canes are your squad now. There's going to be a moment. Like actually, do you know who we should talk to? Who? Jordan Stahl. <laughs> That's right. Right. Very like. Oh, did you win a did you win a cup early in your career in Pittsburgh and then come to, come to Carolina? Well, here's how you, got you traded. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> here's here's how you can. Uh, completely switch the 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 allegiances and be a cane through and through. Listen, Jake Kensel has been on fire since joining the Canes. In eight games, they have a 6-1-1 one, one record. He has two goals and 10 assists. Obviously, 12 points there. And the advanced analytics like him even more. You start looking at the, the high leverage chances or the time on ice or the, the plus minus. Like the advanced analytics like him even more. That's why so many people thought he'd be a great fit for Carolina. First of all, I agree with that. He is a great fit for Carolina. After watching him these last eight games, I think he'd be a great fit everywhere. Well, like, yeah. like what team is going to be like, what, you're just setting other people up to score constantly with awesome chances? Who wants to play with that guy? Everyone wants to play with that guy. I, I, I was expecting him to come in and almost press to be that clutch goal scorer. Every close game, I thought he was going to be trying to to snipe. It hasn't been that. He's just been in the flow going, listen, if you have the best shot, I'm going to set you up. If, 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 if the best thing is puck movement, let's get this bad boy whipping around, and they've been doing it very, very well. They're in a good mind space. They're in a good headspace. They're they're in a just a solid overall vibe with Gensel. I don't want to mess any of that up. I don't want anyone getting caught in the feels. Right? We've all had that buddy, that friend, maybe broke up with someone, maybe went through a tough breakup, maybe had the 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 sadsies for a while, but then they were back. Right? Then they were then we're having a good time again. Then we're out, and then what happens? Bumps into her at the bar, right? Maybe it's college. You see her in the dining hall. And all of a sudden, where does he go? Right back to it. I don't I don't want Sidney Crosby getting into Gensel's head with, with anything about old times. I don't want him saying, hey, remember that time when? Hey, let's let's go look at the slides of that vacation we took. I don't want any you up texts from, from Crosby. I don't want any, hey, this July could be awesome from Crosby. Or any of those penguins. I want you to build a barrier of canes around Gensel at every possession stop. Well, actually, like, like we saw it when, when um, uh, 
Kuznetsov went back to Washington. Mm-hmm. The first thing, right? A little joke trip from from Ovechkin. A little ha 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 doink. Remember our inside jokes? I don't want that with Gensel. Kuzi, there, there's still some contract there. You can forcibly keep him. I don't want Gensel having any little ha ha. Remember our inside jokes. Eight games in, I'm already too attached. I know you hate this, but you know they're going to have the tribute video for him. I don't believe. Well, I, I think that should. I think that should insult him. <laughs> what oh, is this? Really? My what is this? My funeral? No. <laughs> I'm here to beat you. You're going to celebrate me. That's what you do to somebody who's a non-threat. That's what you do to somebody. No, 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 no. Not me. You can turn that tribute video off. I'm about to make a new highlight film tonight. That's that's what I'd be thinking. He's not going to. He's going to wave to the crowd, and it's going to be emotional, and it's going to be nice, and they're going to show, you know, the the cup winning, and it's going to be a whole thing. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean I have to like it. I think tribute videos are ridiculous until someone retires. There's like there's no one in in our society. I'm not I'm not even limiting it to sports. There is nobody in our society that is celebrated more than the retired former great professional athlete, mm-hmm. or even great college athlete. Right, you don't even have to be an awesome pro, right? You think Tyler Hansborough ever walks into the Dean Dome and doesn't get greeted by thousands of people cheering? Anytime he wants, that's all he has to do is walk in and wave, and everybody goes, "Oh my gosh!" Gensel will have whenever he retires, right? Um, I, I was just listening to a podcast with Alex Rodriguez and Derek Jeter, and Jeter goes, "You know, it's funny when you turn thirty and you're a professional athlete, everyone's like, oh, my gosh, you're so old.'" Then you retire at 40 and you go right back to being young again, right? Because then all of a sudden you're in like the business world and you're the youngest person sitting on the board. Mm -hmm. And and it's like whenever Gensel retires, he can go back up to Pittsburgh and point to a banner and everybody will go, oh, tonight he's a cane and he's there to beat the Pittsburgh Penguins. He's there to score against the Pittsburgh Penguins. So, or, or set up his teammates to score against the Pittsburgh Penguins if we're looking at the stats. That's more likely. That's what he's, he's there to do. Rem, I, I just would constantly remind him of that. Hey, man, remember, we're not wearing the black oh, and gold knows. jerseys today. He knows. Don't have one of those, you know, instinct moments where <laughs> Crosby's open in the crease. Yeah, don't walk to the wrong <laughs> locker room, all right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, he's been just playing so well. And and he's been awesome, and he's and you know there's advanced analytics and and this is where it gets crazy. It is a small sample size, right? But I'm seeing like oh his uh, estimated FG percentage e I, I don't know what all the it's actually better when he's on the ice with Aho than when he's on the ice with Crosby. I'm like well he's been on the ice with Aho for one four thousandth of how many minutes he's been on the yeah. ice with Crosby. Again, small sample size. A small sample size, but still I wanted to keep rolling. I mean. Numbers, eye test, you look at it, he and Ajo and Jarvis on the same line together, pretty freaking awesome. Simple as that. I completely agree. Pretty freaking awesome. I completely agree, which is why I don't want anybody from Pittsburgh getting any thoughts into his brain. None of them, okay? Everybody, stay away. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. The wait is over, everybody. Tim Donnelly here for DraftKings Sportsbook, and that means an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, DraftKings Sportsbook is now live. North Carolina, you can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in North Carolina with DraftKings. For a limited time, new customers who sign up using promo code TIMD, that's T-I-M-D, and bet $5, will receive $250 instantly in bonus bets. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, and more with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. There are a ton of games going on in the tournament right now. You can peruse through all of them on your app. It's super user-friendly. You can find the games you want, the lines you're interested in, and, and place the bet. Again, it does all the math for you, which I always appreciate. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using code T. Tim D, that's T-I-M-D, and bet $5 to get $250 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Tim D. The crown is yours. That's T-I-M-D with no spaces. Gambling problem? Call 8-777-185-543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and used under license. We're going to take a break, but when we come back, football at four. We heard from both Dan Morgan 
and Dave Canales, the new GM and head coach of the Panthers. What did they have to say? Stick around to find out. Get crazy, Canes fans. It's hockey night in Carolina. He scores! Dimitri Orlov picks the corner, and the Canes take a 2-1 lead. Storm watch with Adam Gold at 6.30. Puck drop at 7. Second chance, they score! Yes, for Bust knocks it home. On your exclusive home for the Carolina Hurricanes, 99.9 The Fan. It's bow time. Sometimes the craving for Bojangles Supremes is so strong, you've just got to have them. Even when your gas tank is on empty and Bojangles is still 10 miles down the highway. Nothing beats the flavor of Bojangles Juicy Golden Supremes, especially when they're part of a perfect combo with four boldly seasoned chicken Supremes, a made-from-scratch biscuit, fixin', and some legendary iced tea. The only thing that can satisfy your hunger is that delicious southern flavor. So when the craving is supreme, put the pedal to the metal. It's bow time. There's no time like bow time. Time to stop whatever you're doing for some of that bodacious Bojangles flavor. Satisfy your craving for flavor and your passion for boneless chicken with Bojangles Four Piece Supremes Dinner. Four perfectly seasoned Cajun fried whole breast tenderloin fillets. Choice of fixin', a made from scratch buttermilk biscuit, and Bojangles legendary iced tea. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's bow time. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Hey, it's Dennis Cox. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes. With almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards, get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. Call 919-381-1760, 919-381-1760, loanpronto.com, 919-381-1760. NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. The Body Armor State Games are coming to Charlotte this June. Registration is open to athletes of all ages and skill levels in 25 different sports. The Body Armor State Games feature 13,000 athletes and 700 teams. Don't miss out on North Carolina's largest sports festival of the year. Visit BodyArmorStateGames.org today. The Body Armor State Games are proud to partner with Truist, Harris Teeter, and Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. This is the time of year to enjoy life, isn't it? Everything starting to bloom? Well, stop letting that pain in your joints keep you from doing what you want to do this spring. Call QC Kinetics now. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative medicine, and I'm talking about lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. Adam Gold here, and this is a fact. QC Kinetics is literally transforming lives. Their advanced treatments harness your own body's ability to restore and repair damage joint tissue. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades, but now this life-changing treatment is available for you. So you can walk and run and climb and play and do anything you want pain-free. No pain pills, no surgery, all natural solutions. Live your best life this spring and summer. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. 919-400-5473. 919-400-5473. 4 Four locations. Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest. QC Kinetic. Welcoming you back to appointment day at the Martinez house. Raul Martinez looking stressed about scheduling a colon cancer screening. But he just pledged to get screened. Stand up to cancer and Optum want to help you reduce your risk for cancer. Visit takeahealthystand.org. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. You can feel the madness. Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. 
I'm WRAL meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. Nice mild afternoon. We are seeing increasing clouds this afternoon with a high of 64. It's a mild night down to 50 degrees under cloudy skies. And tomorrow we'll see scattered rain starting early in the morning and continuing through the afternoon. We'll see highs in the low 60s. And then the rain picks up in intensity Wednesday night and sticks around through much of Thursday. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit Newcomb and Company. Dot com three o'clock check of your money Dow Jones is down 15 points to 39,297 market update brought to you by the dugout tavern and grill number one sports bar in apex and your March hoops headquarters let's move the chains time for football at four The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Football at four. We heard from the Dungeons and Dragons duo, D&D, Dave and Dan. The alignment. We heard from Dave Canales and Dan Morgan at the NFL meetings over the last two days. We wanted to bring that audio to you. We'll start with Dave Canales because yesterday I set the bar. Before we heard Dave Canales talk, I said, I want to be on record with what I want to hear from Dave Canales so I can't move the goalposts on him when he talks. So I can't say, like, oh, I just want to hear whatever, and then go, I didn't hear this, that, or that. I didn't want to move the, 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 the goalposts. So I said, he better have a plan for Bryce Young. That was my number one tangible thing he could say. He better have a plan for Bryce Young. Luckily, it does sound like they have a plan for Bryce Young. Here's Dave Canales on fixing Bryce's footwork. So it's it's no different than the approach that we took with Russell, with Geno, with Baker, is we are going to become the concepts where Bryce looks most confident. And how do you tell that? Look at the firmness of the back foot on the delivery, whether it's a plant throw or one hitch. Mm. There's just this really solid look and an aggression just exploding off that back foot. You see it all across the league. You see those anticipatory throws. Well, these are concepts that these guys love. We'll start to hone in on some of those, but we're going to have to throw a lot at them to kind of discover those. But you talked about the footwork part, right? That's every year, every quarterback. We go right back to the basics. We start with the stance under center. We balance the feet, get your left foot into the instep of the right. Okay, my chest is up, my eyes are up so I can see every part of the field. We take it from that basic starting point regardless of how many years the quarterback's been in there, but we just take that. Then we start to build the drop. Then we build the footwork, and then specifically what you're saying, we look at the concept and we say, how can we make this footwork intelligent to this concept? Because if you watch, most quarterback footwork, they take about three steps from the gun. Little bit of football nerd. Little bit of this is our plan for Bryce Young. Little bit of you know who I am. And when I say that, I mean, he. it took him about two seconds to go Russell, Geno, Baker, which also sounds like I develop quarterbacks. Here is my resume. Stand on business. That's Dave Canales saying, watch me work. How am I going to fix Bryce Young? Hmm. You see what I do. Secondly, uh, it wasn't just about fixing his footwork. It was about learning from his footwork, which I appreciate. It is watching his footwork because happy feet is something that like color commentators throw out a lot. Oh, you got a little happy feet. But really what, what, what it is, it, it's not confident feet, right? It, think of it like, um, I don't know, I, I was, you know, the rough and tumble world of of communication major in in college, right? A lot of people like to make fun of the old comm majors, uh, but I we took an entire class on nonverbal communication, and one of the thing, one of the the subjects or the the curriculum was trying to spot liars, right? It was it was nonverbal communication, and what was the number one, right? Like fidgety. It was it was moving a lot. It was your eyes are are darting all over the place. It means you're not confident, right? It means it means you're you're not aware of what's going on. You're trying to make things up as you go. So what he's saying is the plays that we watch his feet and his feet are confident, one, two, three, plant, throw. Okay, that's a play that he likes. 
right? He might not even consciously realize he likes it, but his body is telling us he he knows that play. Let's call that one more. More importantly, let's find what it is about that play, the concepts, the routes, the receiver he's throwing to that allows his body to trust it, and let's do more of that. Again, a little bit of quarterback nerd there, a little bit of watch me work, a little bit of a plan for Bryce Young. Dan Morgan looks at it from a different level, right? Because he's a GM. He's looking at it from roster uh, development. He's looking at it from who can we surround Bryce Young with. Here's Dan Morgan on how to get Bryce Young to the next level. We want Bryce Young to be the best version of of himself, Uh, not try to be anybody else or live up to my expectations or anybody else's expectations because the Bryce Young that I scouted in college and saw glimpses of last year. I know the type of player he is, but he's not going to do it all by himself. You know, it it takes all 11 guys and more to, you know, execute this offense um, and execute it at a high level. Like I, like I know that he can. So um, it's a team effort, you know, all three phases, they all got to play together. It's not just going to be on Bryce. Um, Everybody's got to play together. And that's what team team football is about, and that's what we're going to be about. Here's what I think that means, because there is a hint of difference, right? When when he says, I want him to be the best version of himself, I want him to do what he does best, to me, from a GM's chair rather than a coach's chair, that means we don't want him to have to cover for anybody, right? We want him to do what he does best. We don't want him to have, like, if what he does best is – Get through progressions, right? One to five, right? First receiver, second receiver, third receiver, get all the way through. We don't want him to feel like he has to get rid of the ball too quick because the offensive line can't protect, right? We don't want him to feel like he has to uh, compensate for receivers not being able to get open. We want him to do what he does best, and that means having the roster around him that allows him to do that without being forced into anything else. Another thing I thought that was interesting from Dan Morgan from the GM's chair uh, is he talked long-term how he wants to build the the Panthers roster, and and that was through the draft. We are going to build this thing through the draft, um, draft and develop our own talent, and hopefully they pan out, we can extend them, and we can keep our own. Um, But that's the plan as of now. And then, obviously, you know, supplementing in free agency, I think that's going to be, you know, Obviously, one of the things that that we're going to do as well. But, yeah, we're going to build this thing the right way, which I feel is through through the draft. Do you know what's interesting about that? Through the draft, to me, means you think you have job security. We see it every year, right? Somebody who's on a hot seat, where do they go spend all the money in free agency? They trade away a whole bunch of draft picks for players that can help them right now. You, you – May have seen this from Scott Fitterer not too long ago, where you feel like I gotta, I gotta do something. I, I, we need to be so much better right now. If you're planning through the draft, I think that means you believe you're going to be around in three, four, five years. It's, it's you know that moment in a relationship where the other person says like, "Hey, do you want to go on a vacation next summer?" And you're like, "It's not even winter yet." <laughs> I guess you think we're going to be together for a while, right? It's like, you know, did you, next next summer, are you still – like, what are you talking about? Like, when he starts saying we're going to build through the draft and we have to hit on more than we don't, what, what, what he's saying is we're going to put things in place now that we might not see the, the benefit of for two or three years. Some rookies take a minute, right? If you feel like you got to win right now, uh, it'd be well. We're we like draft picks, but also if the right deal is out there, we'll, we'll send away all our picks for the the win now <laughs> microwavable pizza version of of a team. Just ask the Rams what they think about all them picks. Just ask the Rams. <laughs> <laughs> Although I, they tried to give them away, the, the Panthers didn't want them. Well, there's that for for Brian Burns. Uh, they tried to give away a whole bunch of them. Um, I just, I just look at it, when Dan Morgan says he wants to build through the draft, I think that's what most people want to hear from their team. Build from the draft. Build through the draft. Yes, that's, that's the way to do it from the foundation up. Build the right way. And, and most decisions in the NFL are made with job security in mind. So it's like, yeah, I'd love to build through the draft too. 
Unfortunately, I don't want to make a whole bunch of draft picks that if they turn out well, the next guy gets the credit for. So I'm trading them for an all-pro right now. Like That's the thought process that so many GMs have. So if Dan Morgan is being honest with us there, and we have no reason to believe he's not, he's not just saying, I want to build through the draft. He's saying, I have the time to build through the draft. Maybe that means David Tepper isn't in, in his ear going, you better win the division right now. You better fill seats in that stadium. Beyonce fills them. You have to fill them too. I don't know. I don't know if that's how Tepper talks, but that's in my mind how Tepper talks. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I want to tell you about my friend Coach Pete and everyone at Capital Financial Advisory Group. Coach Pete has been revolutionizing the retirement planning game for decades with his use of his GPI index. Coach Pete can help you maximize consistent growth, protect your money from year to year, and build income, build an income switch for you to flip on when you need it and want, want to. Uh, with the help of Coach Pete's financial fill-up, you will receive guaranteed income for life. And even in the face of challenges like long-term care or losing a spouse, you will still receive that check. It all starts with Coach Pete and his fantastic fiduciary planning team at Capital Financial Advisory Group, analyzing your current financial plan to help you build in the three core components of a proper plan. This way, you can find the confidence to retire with the clarity and peace of mind you deserve. Call or text today to get your very own GPI index score and see how this valuable tool can work for you now and along your journey to and through retirement. Call right now and Coach Pete will do all of this at no cost as long as you tell him I sent you. Call 800-691-3215. Tell him Tim from 99.9 The Fan sent you. Or if you're more of a texter than a caller, text Tim, T-I-M, to 600-700. Again, that's 800-691-3215 to call or text my name, Tim, to 600-700. We'll take a break. When we come back, it's time to cop or drop, and we're expecting senior guard on the NC State Wolfpack, Casey Morsell, to join the show on the Heaster Automotive Group Hotline. All of that coming up next. Bring on the madness. Ingram, a three from the left wing. It's nothing but net. Do it, big boy. Deals up 40 to 31. Michigan State has time the other way. Hogard downloaded to Soko. Tipped away by Baycott, and that's how the half will end. Carolina closes the first half on a 23 to 3 run. Cottage basketball tournament action on 99.9 The Fan is powered by Wake Med, Roofworks, and Wilkinson Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC and Sanford. Our state's future begins with our students. That's why the North Carolina Education Lottery has contributed over $10 billion to education. Through scholarships, school construction, support staff, and pre-K programs, lottery dollars move our state forward, helping students become the best versions of themselves. Visit movingncstudentsforward.com and share how your student or school community has benefited for a chance to earn $2,000 for your story. Must be 18 to play. Problem Gambling Helpline 877-718-5543. The moment we've been waiting for has arrived. Download the Caesar Sportsbook app today using code NEWNC. Then place your first bet of $10 or more, and win or lose, you'll receive $250 in bonus bets. Open to new users in North Carolina who are 21 or older. Terms and conditions apply. See caesars.com backslash promos or the promos tab in the app for full terms. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagamenc.gov. Tribal Casino Gaming Enterprise is a licensed operator by the North Carolina State Lottery Commission. Tim Donald here and I want to let you know March is a critical time to check your home's windows. Call the pros at Window Nation. Right now for every two windows you buy, you get two windows free. Plus zero down, zero interest and no payments for 24 months. Call 866-90-NATION or visit windownation.com now. Capital Buy, Sell, Trade, the largest sneaker store in the state of North Carolina is located on Glenwood Avenue right here in Raleigh. Swing on through there to get sneakers, vintage, streetwear. Show off your fandom with Capital Buy, Sell, Trade. Follow them on Instagram at Capital BST 919 Capital Buy, Sell, Trade. New to the area? Let me be the first to welcome you. I'm Marcy Bailey of Bailey's Fine Jewelry. We've been family owned and part of North Carolina since 1948. We have a tradition of being voted the best jewelry store with an unparalleled selection of designer jewelry, fine diamonds, engagement rings, watches, and gifts to commemorate all your special occasions. We look forward to sharing our award-winning service and stunning jewels with you. Visit us today in store or at baileybox.com to see why every woman wants a Bailey box. Avenged Sevenfold in concert. AC 
7X. Friday, March 29th, PNC Arena, Raleigh, with special guests, Poppy and Sullivan King. Tickets are on sale now at LiveNation.com. Avenged Sevenfold. Live. Produced by Live Nation. New album, Life is But a Dream. Out now. Want a truck? You're in luck because it's Ram Truck Month at John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lillington. We're not talking just 5, 10, or even 15% off. We're talking 20% off all new Ram 1500s, excluding TRX and Tradesman Package. 20% off all shiny new Ram 1500s. It's time to get off your keister and get to Heaster for your new truck. Truck. We'll serve it up with personalized customer service from our team dedicated to providing a seamless buying experience. Hurry to John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lillington. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. You want true enlightenment? Well, I'm dropping, 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 dropping. It is time for Copper Drop here on The Drive with Tim Donnelly on 99.9 The Fan. And as we said earlier, uh, Casey Morsell, senior guard, uh, perimeter player for the NC State Wolfpack, still alive in the Sweet 16, um, is, is getting ready to play Marquette. And we're expecting him to join us on the Heaster Automotive Group hotline in a few minutes. Uh, before we get started with Copper Drop, I want to remind everybody, The Drive will be broadcasting live from Carolina Ale House in Cary on Friday afternoon uh, from 3 to 7. We'll get you primed for a historic night of Sweet 16 college basketball. Uh, state fans, get ready. Right, Obviously, we're just talking more sell. Duke fans, you're playing that night as well. UNC fans, we'll be breaking down your, your game from the previous night. Join us, grab your seats, get your orders in before the tip-offs for Friday's games. The Drive, live Friday from Carolina Ale House in Cary. Both Dennis and I will be there. Now, Copper Drop, one of our favorite games. Dennis throws everything he can at me. I tell you whether I am copping or dropping. Dennis, what do you got? All right, let's actually go right to the Sweet 16 in the NCAA tournament. I Cop a feeling we did at some point. Copper Drop, two ACC schools make it to the Final Four. Well, that's the... Oh, because hmm. a few of them like can't both make it. If they were, if there was one ACC team in each region, I would feel better about it. I'm gonna go no. Oh, you're dropping here. I'm going dropping. You said Final Four, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it. Okay. I, I just making the Final Four is hard, man. Uh, and there's there are still some very very good teams out there that are not in the ACC. If UNC wins and Clemson, they both win. They're in the same region. They're both out in L.A. That means they play each other, which means guaranteed team in the Final Four from the ACC. If State and Duke both win their games on Friday, they play each other on mm -hmm. in, on Sunday in Dallas because they're in the same region, which means guaranteed trip to Final Four. If all four of them win in the Sweet 16? It's guaranteed. Yes. That's that's a big if. I mean, that's Major if. That, that's... I mean, I I have one team from the ACC in my Final Four. It was mm -hmm. it was North Carolina. I did not have NC State making it this far. Um, I did not have Clemson making it this far. So they're they're I'm, I'm sticking to my guns a little bit here and saying they're very good teams. But so is Arizona, right? Like they're very good teams, but so is Marquette, and so is Houston, and so is UConn. Although that that bracket doesn't or that region actually doesn't have any ACC teams in it. Like, there are still really good teams out there. So I don't want to disrespect the rest of the, the bracket and just say, you know, the ACC's fourth best team is better than everybody. Like, I'm as pro ACC as they come. I also acknowledge the top of some of these other conferences is pretty good. ACC's fourth best team is better than everybody, Tim. You think, you think uh, 
who who are you saying is the fourth best? I mean, currently of the four that are uh-huh. still in it, Clemson. Yeah, you Homer. Uh, I mean, well, yeah. I will Clemson. Homer to the Triangle think, Schools. You, yes, I am. You think Clemson is the fourth best team in the Sweet 16? They can be. <laughs> No, because let's, they're going to have to face, your, let's they're gonna have to face Carolina. Let's I don't test your homerdom right now. No, you think not. Clemson is better than UConn? No. All right. But they're not going to play them yet. If they match up in the Final Four, you're taking Clemson. No. Yeah, I didn't no, think I so. Didn't no, I don't see it. They're not going to get past Carolina. Clemson won't get past Carolina. I know they did it earlier this season, but whatever. All right. Let's actually go. Well, speaking of Carolina, cop or drop. Five players in double figures on Thursday for, for UNC. For UNC? Uh, dropping it. Okay. This has as, like, first of all, was, was that was that bold? Uh, or Graham, yes. <laughs> there's, there's no, I almost want to say there's no need for five guys. to. You said five, right? I just think. You know, it's it's time for your stars to take over. What's the saying? Big time players make big time plays in big time games. I, I want RJ Davis to have twenty five plus. I want I want Armando Baycott to have twenty. I want uh, Harrison Ingram to have nineteen. I don't I don't necessarily need Elliot Cadeau to to score in double figures or like this is one where if I have shots to take, I want them to be in the the hands of the best shooter and. Alabama doesn't have a, an unbelievable defense, right? Their defense is actually statistically kind of poor. And I know they played well against, um, was it Charleston or something? Uh, Grand Canyon? Was it Grand Canyon? Yes. Uh, that's not UNC. I think they'll be able to get shots to their best players. I think they'll be able to run sets to get their, their best scorers open. And if that's the case, you don't need to diversify, right? You don't need everybody else taking a bunch of shots if you have your guys that, that you know, you want to, to – have the entire game resting on their shoulders, resting on their shoulders. So, no, I'm going to say less than five double figures. All right, next one up here. The NFL is actually going to have two games on Christmas Day, which is a Wednesday. Wednesday. Cop or drop that this is stupid. So if I cop it, it is stupid. Yes. Hmm. I, I think this is an, you know, I'll, it's an incomplete Incomplete. I need to know how much rest they're going to have before and after. Doesn't matter. Wednesday. It does. No, it doesn't. Because it, playing on a Wednesday, hey, the Mac, they, they do it. Um, uh, yeah, it, but they play on Wednesdays every week. It, that's So their, their rest aligns. I don't want anyone playing on a short week on a Wednesday. So, no, that's so just, if, if that's the case, then I'm copying it because you said copying, copying is stupid, that stupid. So I'm copying it. It's, I don't have a problem with like event games. I don't have a problem with playing a game with the sole purpose of this is when the most people can watch it. Because let's be real, the NFL, all professional sports are an entertainment product. Mm-hmm. So if it's, hey, this makes this game more of an event, like it's weird to play a game at like noon on a Thursday, but on Thanksgiving, it's awesome. Like it, I'm fine with, with event games. As long as you're taking into account that players are going to have their routines messed up, so make sure you you give them a little bit of grace. If you have a buy right before it, and then you get kind of the the mini buy after, you kind of have like a week and a half before and a week and a half after. I don't have a problem with that at all. But if you're playing like the previous Sunday and you're playing on Wednesday, uh, that's one of the dumbest things I've heard. My guess is all those teams will be playing on, on Saturday, Saturday, so like the week before. So it's like a basically like Sunday to Thursday type deal. Nah, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. The because, NBA really doesn't like it. No, the NBA hates it because you're stealing all their thun- thunder. College spotlight. football really doesn't like it. Cop or drop, Carolina Hurricanes win the President's Trophy as the most points in the regular season. They're they're right. They're knocking on the door. Cop or drop, they're like point. We're like a point back. Uh, I'm gonna cop. Are you sure you want to? Because President's Trophy winners generally don't fare well in the in the they're, playoffs. They're just the the they're closing with such a vengeance, right? Are you are you are you, first of all? I'm not a superstitious person, and I'm not going to make the little stitious joke. Uh, so I don't. I think the best thing you can do is play the best hockey you can play. I think that's true in every sport. 
So I'm like, are you implying that they might throw the brakes on because? No, I'm not saying they'll throw the brakes on. I'm just saying if they don't win the President's Trophy, that's okay. Because you actually look at last year President's Trophy winner, Boston yeah, lost in the first round with Florida. the Bruins. They were up 3-1 in that series. It actually had a 3-2 lead in Game 7 over the Florida Panthers. But I, do you think well. the reason why that happened is because they won the President's Trophy? No, I'm just looking at history, though. The last time a President's Trophy winner won the Stanley Cup was 2012-2013. That was the Chicago Blackhawks. All right. So it can happen. It's been a minute. It's it's every once in a while those happen like, oh, an MVP or a Heisman Trophy winner doesn't win the national championship. I'm like, what? You want your best player to chill? Like, <laughs> like, n- no. You want to play the best hockey you can, and if that means you win an award that is quote unquote cursed, it's like, no. That, that's that's that. I, I don't believe in any of that. I think they should play their best hockey. They're playing very, very well right now. They're picking up points at a rapid pace. They're closing in on, on uh, you know, taking the lead with games to spare. So I think they do it. And then, I, and then if they do or don't win the cup, it will not be because they do or didn't win the, the most points in the regular season. I, I think it'll be because of how they play in the postseason. All right, copper drop. Major League Baseball will suspend Shohei Otani during the investigation of his potentially illegal sports gambling or betting on games. Drop. Drop, okay. Here's why. Um, Because he's the face of of Major League Baseball. But also, uh, I believe, believe that all of the category, that as long as there was no betting on baseball, which – it seems like in every iteration of a story that has changed a few times, mm-hmm. the one like through line has been there was absolutely no betting on baseball. There's no betting on baseball. All of the punishments fall on like the commissioner's discretion. And I know how the discretion is going to go when it comes to Shohei Otani. But it'll be it'll be like uh, me and my buddies on the football team in high school when we used to go to Arby's across the street. You weren't allowed to leave for lunch, but there was an Arby's across the street, and we'd walk across the the, the, the dumb bravado of high school kids, knowing that both our presidents or uh, principals and vice principals windows looked at the road that we were walking across. And then we'd come back in, and the principal would be waiting in the hallway, and he would say, fellas, come to my office. We'd go to the office, he'd shut the door, and he would say, I'm going to talk to you like a coach or a mentor, not like your principal. And we would go, sweet, my mentor can't do anything to to get me. My my mentors can't give me detention or can't suspend me or like can't do anything actually bad. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. So uh, great, (laughs) fantastic. Like I feel like that's what it's going to be. It would be the commissioner calling in Shohei and going like, listen, Shohei. I'm going to talk to you like a friend. I'm going to talk to you like like a coach. You need to get your act straight. You need to straight you, – you can't be messing around in these situations. And Shohei will say, cool, and then he'll go back to being normal. I, I just don't think the discretion of the commissioner is going to uh, allow them to really put, put, uh, put him in a tough spot. All right, final one here for you. There are five basketball programs in the triangle still playing. Duke men, Duke women, NC State men, NC State women, and UNC men basketball. One of those five wins a national championship. Copper drop. Wins. So it's it's just to be clear here. Mm -hmm. That is five teams. Yep. There are thirty-two teams still playing. Yes. So we're looking at five versus Mm twenty-seven. My analytic mind right my my numbers mind is saying it's always smart to take the field however my heart is saying we got to get one right we got we got we to get got to get one of them there's one, there's what seeds do we have left north carolina is a one seed mm-hmm. nc state's an 11 duke is a 4 I, I think NC State women's a three. I have it up, I have it up right here. Duke, Duke is a seven, seven. NC State is a three. Mm-hmm. So, again, my my analytic mind is saying no, but I'll be darned if I'm going to say no on these airwaves. Uh, give me the cop. And I appreciate you for not making me pick which one. Uh, yeah, pick which one. Uh, <laughs> I drop. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is copper drop. This is 
yes or no. You you have to, you have to work your questions better than that. Um, the team I had furthest going in any of my brackets is UNC, so I guess I'd lean that way. Uh, but that's also not um. I'm not breaking news by saying the one seed is the one that that would be the. I the highest I picked UNC to win the national championship going into this against the team that's no longer in the tournament, Kansas. <laughs> Which why the why do I always fall for this? Big the, Twelve, SEC. If it, I mean if it does end up being multiple ACC teams, I'm gonna feel recklessly dumb because. You can't be the guy on radio screaming about how awesome the ACC is all year and then go, didn't stick to my guns, didn't didn't listen to what I was saying all year. So, I mean, I'm obviously still pulling for the ACC, but I'll just feel foolish uh, for actually for actually doing it that way, which is, um, you know, not the best. One more time, I want to remind everybody, The Drive will be broadcasting live from Carolina Ale House in Cary on Friday afternoon. We'll get you primed for a historic night of Sweet 16 college basketball. State fans, Duke fans, hopefully you'll be settling in for the game. Get, a, get uh, Join us early. Get there early. Grab your seats and get your orders in before tip-off. The Drive will be live Friday from Carolina Ale House in Cary. Now, uh, one of those games that will be taking place on Friday is uh, the NC State game against Marquette. We talked about this one earlier being a uh, a chance for Kevin Keats to flex his muscles a little bit. And what I mean by that is Shaka Smart has some some history of, of going on dramatic runs through the, the NCAA tournament going back to his time at VCU. I do think this season can be a little bit, or this this game can be a little bit of which team can knock the other off of what they do best. Shaka Smart's teams have a system. They have a identity. He calls it havoc. They call it havoc. What that means is a defense that is all about getting up in your face. It's all about making you work. They're trying to make life miserable from the moment you inbound the ball. Meanwhile, NC State's identity, which we discussed earlier, they did find late, right? This was not their identity for the entirety of the season, uh, but they they found it at the last possible second this season. Involves getting the ball to DJ Burns, watching what he does with it. Which of these two teams can knock the other team off, right? And And how do you defeat a Havoc defense? Simple. Be calm, right? Make smart passes. Make them expend all of that energy on defense trying to make your life uh, haphazard and and don't let it happen. And then on the flip side, right, if you are playing against NC State and they are leaning on DJ Burns on the down low, how do you make that not work? Well, there's a few ways. One, and this would be the most frustrating to watch for State fans, DJ Burns in foul trouble, Right? It has to be a part of your arsenal, right? We, we've seen the flop work against DJ Burns. How unbelievably frustrating would it be if you, you take that little, you lean on him hard, and then when he pushes back, you just flop back and get the call. Do that two or three times. It could completely change the trajectory of the game. The other one is... is uh, and actually, there's a few. I don't want to act like there's one way to beat a dominant big or two ways to beat a dominant big. But the other way is to make him work on uh, on the other end, right? If Marquette wants to put out a bunch of shooters or a bunch of ball handlers and set a bunch of screens and, and put him in as much action as they can as a defender, that is something that I don't think anyone wants to see from NC State. So what I mean when I say who can – you know, the, the X's and O's, the chess match of it is, is who can make their opponent go to plan B – that's what I mean, right? Can they make Havoc work against Marquette? Can they make DJ Burns and how much NC State has been depending on him work against NC State? Whoever does that best could easily find themselves in the Elite Eight. When we're talking Elite Eight. We're talking, I mean, stakes are high. Which, you know, and we've been talking about. I mean, Dennis, how long does it feel like we've had NC State in a true winner go home game, a month. It, it's it's been two weeks. W- w- was it Dark Knight Rises with Bane? The yes. Okay, uh, where he's I'm, I'm born in it, all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. 
it does feel like all these teams are like, I'm getting used to playing in one and done basketball. And NC State's like, I was born in it. I've, I've been living here for a long time. It's crazy to think it was two weeks ago today that they were playing against Louisville. Two weeks ago today, they started the five games in five days through the ACC I, tournament. I think it was this time exactly two weeks ago they were down 12. Wow. <laughs> I think. It was darn near exactly this time, right? Uh, looking at Marquette, Marquette's a two seed, right? They didn't have to win any conference championship to make it. They knew that they had built up a safety net through their their regular season play that they were gonna they were gonna make it to the the NCAA tournament. That's a different beast, right? They've had two games where it truly is win or go home. NC State is is seven games in twelve days that were truly win or go home games. Uh, can you get comfortable in that situation? Is it bad to get comfortable in that situation? I, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I've never been in that situation on a basketball court, but I do know that they look pretty darn pretty darn good doing it. How many teams can really say? I mean, outside one, only one that pops in my head is 2011 UConn. That you can say, yeah, we've won seven straight win, win or, or go, go home. home games. Seven straight. Because, again, that's a run through your conference tournament and the NCAA tournament. Very few programs can ever say they've done that before. There, there's a reason, and I've defended this a few times. I've had people say, like, geez, relax, NC State, we get it. But, ever, like, you know, the Duke and UNC made the Sweet 16 too. I'm going, mm, they didn't do it like NC State. Yeah, but they were also expected to get there. That's what I'm. That's what I mean. They did, and they didn't have to do as much. No, not in the last twelve days. Mm. Obviously, over a season, they've had their success, but they've not in the last fourteen days. They just haven't done as much. You have to you tip your cap. You don't have to root for them. You don't have to buy a jersey, but but you have to tip your cap to what they were able to do. We're going to take a quick break here, but when we come back, it's going to be Tuesday feedback right here on ninety nine nine The Fan. Hey, Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Law Tigers. The Law Tigers, Tobacco Road, Harley Davidson, Shiny Side Paint, and your Carolina Hurricanes, they're all teaming up together to get the Ultimate Canes fan a custom Hurricanes 2023 Harley Davidson soft tail motorcycle. The bike's going to be given away, by the way, on Friday, April 5th at, at PNC Arena, live at the game. So guess what? That means you need to enter now. Go to Caniacs. Bike.com. Again, that is Caniacsbike.com for your chance to win this custom painted beauty of a bike. Do it now. Enter today. You want to win the bike? Over 30,000 people have entered. Over 30,000, which is absolutely amazing. But you can want your shot. Just kind of like, you know, if you want to win some cash in the lottery or something like that, you got to enter to win. Caniacsbike.com. Law Tigers, North Carolina's motorcycle lawyers. Law Tigers is a network of independent law firms who are members of the American Association of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. Law Tigers is not a law firm. We hear your thoughts on our last week week and change of uh, of content from here on The Drive with Tim Donnelly. Tuesday feedback coming up. At Bet365, they don't do ordinary. They believe that every sport should be epic. Every point, every game, every layup, every play. From the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. Whether it's a three-pointer at the buzzer to tie the game or a player goes two for two at the free throw line. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary. At Bet365, official partner of the Charlotte Hornets. 21 plus only. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. Your favorite resale shop is also in the custom cabinet business. Habitat for Humanity Restores offers brand new cabinets and in-home measurement service. And sales benefit Habitat for Humanity home projects. Habitat's partnered with manufacturers to offer you brand new, high quality, solid wood custom cabinets in multiple style and color options. And we offer competitive pricing. Learn more about custom cabinets from Triangle Restores and how your dream project could make someone's dream of home ownership come true at trianglerestores.org. It's bow time. Sometimes the craving for Bojangles Supremes is so strong you just gotta have them. Even when your gas tank is on empty and Bojangles is still 10 miles down the highway. Nothing beats the flavor of Bojangles Juicy Golden Supremes, especially when they're part of a perfect combo with four boldly seasoned chicken Supremes, a made-from-scratch biscuit, fixin', and some legendary iced tea. The only thing that can satisfy your hunger is that delicious southern flavor. So when the craving is supreme, put the pedal to the metal. It's bow time. There's no time like bow time. 
time to stop whatever you're doing for some of that bodacious Bojangles flavor. Satisfy your craving for flavor and your passion for boneless chicken with Bojangles Four Piece Supremes Dinner. Four perfectly seasoned Cajun fried whole breast tenderloin fillets. Choice of fixin', a made from scratch buttermilk biscuit, and Bojangles legendary iced tea. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's Bow Time. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Hey, it's Dennis Cox. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes with almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle. You can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850. A month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards, get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. Call 919-381-1760, 919-381-1760, loanpronto.com, 919-381-1760, NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. Hey, guys, sound familiar? Your energy's not the same. The weight's starting to creep up. You're a little forgetful. And to make matters worse, you're not sleeping well. Well, it could be low T, but you shouldn't go one more day dealing with these symptoms. Help is available at QC Kinetics. They'll help diagnose the issue and get you back to feeling like yourself again. QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. They use biologic treatments encouraging your body to optimize the hormone levels you need to boost stamina, provide more mental clarity, and improve your metabolism. It starts with a complimentary consultation and comprehensive exam. One quick office visit, and you'll have next steps to swing those hormone levels back into balance. All using the protocols QC Kinetics is known for around the country. Most importantly, you'll be back to yourself, and that's important. So call right now for your complimentary consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 919-400-5473. That's 919-400-5473. Located in Raleigh, 919-400-5473. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Had to wait for the beat to drop. But we don't have to wait anymore to hear from Casey Morsell, senior guard, NC State Wolfpack, part of the uh, 11 seed in the NCAA tournament that are still looking to uh, survive in advance in the Sweet 16. Casey, we appreciate you for joining us on the Heaster Automotive Group Hotline. Uh, we'll start with this. W what does it feel like to be one of the stories of the tournament kind of everybody's underdog that the, the nation is falling in love with? Well, uh, first off, thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, you know, just this, this journey of, uh, you know, just being part of something so special is something that uh, we haven't truly embraced yet. I mean, just because every day uh, we've just constantly been ready, getting ready for the next game as players. But, uh, you know, once everything kind of winds down and slows down for us, and, uh, you know, I think us players will finally get, be able to fully embrace um, what we just did. The the million-dollar question is what changed, right? You you finished the regular season with four straight losses, and, and then you get into the winner-go-home portion of your season, and, and you've appeared to be a different team. We've noticed that it, it seems like you're more confident in your identity as a squad. Uh, what changed, or, or can you even put your finger on it? <laughs> um, well, I guess – I guess the major change that I think was different um, now is that I guess in, in, in games, uh, we, we just strictly don't hurt ourselves. Uh, you know, if we lose a game, um, you know, it's just because the team straight up out, outplayed us. But, you know, each game that we go into, we're not going to um, lose a game strictly because of the, the vast majority of, of mistakes that, um, that we've kind of caused on our end. Casey Morsell, senior guard, NC State Wolfpack, joining us ahead of their matchup with Marquette in the Sweet 16 later this week. Uh, Casey, there's there's a few storylines that have followed your team over the last two weeks, and it is literally, you know, exactly two weeks ago on Tuesday. Today is a Tuesday that this this run started in the ACC tournament. 
uh, seven games in 12 days. Is the they must be so tired thing overrated? Like, have you guys actually felt as fatigued as everybody keeps making it out to be? <laughs> well, I can see why, obviously, why mm-hmm. why everybody thinks we're, we're tired. But, uh, no, we feel great. We feel great. Um, you know, we have so many great resources here at State and here on staff that uh, have um, been a part of this journey. Um, we've, you know, our, we, we get massages and um, – we have a, a great nutritionist who travel with us and just, you know, just having all the resources that put us in the best position to kind of keep going along this stretch. I mean, I think coach said it best when we were in the ACC tournament, we, we kind of got better as a season and as the tournament went on. So um, as time goes on, we kind of, you know, we feel better and we just kind of have to keep that going, keep using our resources because they put us in the best position to be successful. I want to go back to a conversation that that we had at the ACC tip-off event. This is, uh, you know, months ago now. You probably feels like you've lived ten lives since then. But <laughs> uh, but one of the things you mentioned is, as a guy that's been in Raleigh for a while, you, you're obviously started your career at UVA, but you've you've been part of the Wolfpack now for a few years. You kind of took it as as part of your responsibility to. Um, make sure everybody was included, right? You had all these new faces, incoming transfers, transfers from last year, and, and you're trying to make it all uh, kind of mesh. Uh, did that chemistry take longer than you would have thought? Because, as we mentioned, it feels like you clicked, but it was at the last possible second in the ACC tournament. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think any any time you get a, a bunch of new faces, it does take a uh, time for – for you know, for things to click, um, I think for us, I, I think we we've always kind of had chemistry and we've always been close. Um, it was just more um, X's and O's in, in terms of why we weren't pulling games out. And uh, you know, like I said, when it came to the X's and O's, and you know, yes, I think people will, will would people are going to make mistakes during games, but um, you know, just putting ourselves in the best position um, as a team to um, even stay connected. I think even when a team goes on a run or we're in a hole, like just staying connected for a full 40 minutes um, and not letting runs kind of separate us or divide us, I mean, that puts us in the best position to be successful. Casey Morsell, senior guard, NC State, getting ready for the Sweet 16 later this week, joining us on the Heaster Automotive Group Hotline. I want to talk about your defense, Casey. It's it, – it takes a lot for just a straight up like perimeter excellent defensive effort to go viral and, and it's happened a few times for you. Um <laughs> what makes you like on on a possession decide I'm gonna jump in this guy's hip pocket, I'm I'm not gonna let them screen me off of him, I'm gonna get over every screen and, and I'm gonna do that on the perimeter in, in a in a dramatic way. Well, I mean, I th- I think uh <laughs> I try to do it every possession, uh, but I think some possessions in particular, I think you can see it kind of more, or it's more uh, visible um, strictly because I think, you know, some teams are running plays. Um, and I think, you know, that's me uh, blowing up a play whenever I try to get in a guy's hip uh, further away from the basket. So um, just trying to do everything I can to kind of take teams out of the set. Um, I think if you, you know, stop teams from scoring, it's easier to win games. Um, and, you know, we, you know, yes, we want to score, but uh, we don't want to, you know, have to be the team that tries to go and outscore everyone. We, You know, we just want to win games by, you know, stopping them from scoring. And, uh, you know, I, I think at the end of the day, like, it's as a, as a team, we've been able um, to com- defend way better in, in the postseason. And I think another big thing for us is that we're, we're finishing possessions. So we're trying to hold teams to one shot and done. Um, you know, Burns and Muhammad, like they're they're getting they're doing a great job of of finishing possessions on the off I mean on the defensive end. Is, is there anything you do as a teammate to make sure uh the, the big guy's uh ego stays in check? I mean every time I turn on the TV, he's on another TV show. There's a, another uh, you know, giant college basketball Twitter account posting about him. The DJ <laughs> Burns is becoming a national celebrity. Yeah, I mean, um, I guess it was one of those things you kind of expected. I mean, the, the more you won, uh, we, we kind of expected that to happen. Uh, but he handles it great. He's very mature. Uh, he still comes in and gets his work gets his work in. He still um, has, is the same person, has the same personality. So, um, you know, yes, I guess there's there's more of, of a, 
I don't know, there's more of a um, hype and energy around our team, but no one's changed anything that they've done, um, you know, in I suppose the, I guess the way it's always been, um, besides Muhammad for his uh, his fasting throughout Ramadan. So that's pretty much it. Um, everyone just kind of has the same routine. Does the yeah. the ice cream sundae that we keep hearing about, does it get bigger with each round of the tourney? Are we looking at like six scoops if you win in the Sweet 16? <laughs> does it get bigger now? I mean, yeah, we, 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 we order a lot of ice cream, um, you know, I guess at this point, I mean, ice cream is for everybody. You you come and <laughs> you know you come to our game and you come you know hang out with us at the uh, at the hotel or wait for us after when we, when we get back to the hotel. I mean, you know you'll probably get a scoop of ice cream. So ice cream is for the for all of Wolfpack Nation, not not just the players. Do you, do you have a like an an order? Do you have a go to? <laughs> I'm simple. I mean, I, I just like the I like the vanilla. Um, you are know, we, but are we talking toppings? Like, like, give us the the the, the full the full scouting report. Yeah, I mean, I usually just give vanilla with sprinkles. I'm very simple. Uh, you know, I think the the orders we always have are um, vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate chip. Those are the three most common. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I what I get on my end. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I want I want to make sure we we get you back to your prep and get you ready. But but one more here. Um, okay. You're you're not the only Sweet Sixteen team on campus. Uh, g- give us the scouting report of, uh, on the ladies. Have, have you guys uh, shared tips about dealing with the pressure or anything like that? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's awesome to kind of see them in the, in this position. Uh, we don't. I guess we never had a conversation about the pressure or nothing like that. But um, they support us extremely hard, and we support them hard. And um, I guess you know we, they always. I guess we're all close with each other and, you know, they always, you know, are quick to kind of give feedback on what they see in games and vice versa. So uh, we just want, you know, both teams to be successful and that's pretty much what I guess has been happening throughout this process. I, I lied. One more. Has the phone been going crazy with, with people reaching out? Uh, obviously you're, you're drawing <laughs> a lot of attention. What, what's the, the notifications like after a game? Yeah, I mean, yeah, your phone definitely goes crazy, uh, I guess, even on social media. Um, but I guess it's so it's always great to kind of have your the, the favorites uh, <laughs> because, you know, the favorites definitely make it easier to kind of contact those who, uh, you know, who, who've always been supporting you throughout the year. So it's been great. Um, I'm, I'm thankful for it, but we're not done yet. Any, uh, any, any impressive names, anyone really famous that got, got you excited about reaching out? Ain't famous. Ah, uh, Um. And if not, be ready for it because a Sweet Sixteen victory comes comes with, or a great performance <laughs> in the Sweet Sixteen comes with uh, a lot of eyeballs on you. So you know, hey, maybe look outside those favorites if if it, if it happens. All right. Okay, sounds good. I'll definitely let you know if anybody, if there you anybody go. goes my way. Casey, we appreciate you for taking the time to join us, and, and good luck this weekend against Marquette. Sounds good. Thank you for having me. Of course, that is Casey Morsell, senior guard, NC State Wolfpack, and and I'll say this about Casey: um, we've now spoken with him throughout the season, right? I mentioned we talked to him on uh, ACC tip off in, in person. Uh, we've we talked to him. I talked to him on uh, the the Pack Therapy podcast. Mm-hmm. We've had him on this show. Now we're having him uh, in the middle of the NCAA tournament. We talked to him a few times at the ACC tournament post game. Talked to him exactly. I I am impressed with how the exact same he is, right? We, we talk about – Yeah, uh, that's a great you, point. We, we, we talk about, like, oh, did you keep this guy's ego in check? You, you, can't, you can't rattle him. And in, in games, you know, obviously every player might get sped up or slowed down at di- different points in time. But, um, but he, you know, he's at a point in his career, and he's been in college a while, right? He did the, the two years at UVA. I believe this is his third at mm-hmm. NC State. He's, he's, he has the experience. I am wildly impressed with how exactly the same he's been, whether we're talking to him before a season that has high expectations, in the middle of a season where it's been a little rocky, or now at the nearing the 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 or in the postseason when you're the cat's meow nationally. He it's it's you know, you could play those interviews back to back to back and you wouldn't other than the content of the conversation, you wouldn't be able to tell a difference, which I think is pretty cool. The drive with Tim Donnelly, ninety nine nine the fan. Dennis has something for you. Hey, Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Underdog Sportsbook. We all know sports betting is alive and thriving here in the state of North Carolina, and Underdog Sportsbook 
they've entered the game as well. Here's what Underdog has given you. They've, they've worked hard behind the scenes to create a sportsbook app for you, the user, using their own technology that is simple. It's a fresh experience with straightforward language that you as the fan can understand and a design that is as clean as it is appealing. That is something I know a lot of people that are getting into sports betting for the first time, they might open up an app and be like, I, I don't know where to go. Like, What does all this mean? Underdog made it simple and easy for you. That's the reason why I've used Underdog. I actually just missed out on a parlay the other day. But you know what? That's fine. A team didn't cover the spread. But the best part is I knew exactly where to go. It was simple, clean, and easy to follow along. And I know there's a lot of big-time basketball going on right now, so I know you want to get in on that action too. Best way to do it? And the only way to do it is to download the Underdog Sportsbook app on iOS or Android, sign up with the promo code DENNIS, and use your first bet mulligan, which returns up to $1,000 as bonus funds if your first bet loses. That's Underdog Sportsbook, promo code DENNIS. Must be 21-plus to gamble and present in North Carolina. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov or call 1-800-GAMBLER. Terms, conditions, and restrictions apply and can be found in the Underdog Sportsbook app. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. The starting five will be coming up next. And, yeah, we're going to have to talk about the NC State men. You just heard from one of them, Casey Morsell, and women playing in the Sweet 16 at the exact same time. We take the NCAA to task next. Get crazy, Canes fans. It's hockey night in Carolina. He scores! Dimitri Orlov picks the corner, and the Canes take a 2-1 lead. Storm watch with Adam Gold at 6.30. Puck drop at 7. Second chance, they score! Jesper Faust knocks it home. On your exclusive home for the Carolina Hurricanes, 99.9 The Fan. You call that a precision stop? When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus. They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, with the power of VC Turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class. Watch this. The protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Level up your drive with 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 EPA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well-qualified buyers, 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Rogue and dealer stock. Example, 60 months financing at $1748 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary. Subject to residency restrictions and in mac credit approval. Not all buyers qualify. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Ends 4 Here's another remarkable success story from QC Kinetics. This one from Chad, who hurt his knee at the gym one day, and it just kept on hurting for months. From my high school football and wrestling days. I already had a little bit of damage in there, but this just sent it over the edge. Chad tried traditional treatments with no improvement when he turned to the non-surgical regenerative treatments at QC Kinetics. It was really fascinating how they did their work and the science behind it was very intriguing and it works. Extracting the cure out of my own body blew my mind. It's like I'm brand new again. It was fantastic. That's because the QC Kinetics natural biologic treatments use your body's own healing power to restore damaged tissue in your hips, shoulders, back and knees, providing long-lasting relief. Now I'm back at the gym. I'm 100% feeling great. If you're tired of suffering with pain from arthritis or injury, call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 919-400-5473. That's 919-400-5473. In Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest, 919-400-5473. It's time for the Coastal Scholar Athlete of the Month. Hello, this is Creighton Blackwell from Coastal Credit Union, here to celebrate our next Scholar Athlete of the Month. We are here at South Garner High School, where we're going to celebrate the next Scholar Athlete, Patience Ifedine. Patience has been an awesome addition to our women's basketball team. Patience has been playing since her freshman year. So to be a year-round athlete and to have a 3.9 um, GPA, that takes a lot of dedication and hard work. I just never forget like what I, why I'm doing the stuff that I'm doing, why I'm a student athlete and why I play basketball. And she's a leader, very much a leader on this team and she plays a very important role in all our lives. She'll tell you the truth of what you do wrong, but she'll like make it sound nice. She won't try to make it sound mean. 
My teammates, they showed me stuff that I didn't even know about myself, and they pushed me to be great every day. I mean, I'll, obviously I do the same for them. And my coach, she's been, she's been everything to me. Um, my mom calls her my godmother, but I don't know about that yet. We'll, we'll work on that, but she's been, she's been everything to me. She's made me a better person, and she's just grown my game to a whole nother level. Congratulations, patience. Thank you. For 20 years, 99.9 The Fan and Coastal Credit Union have been recognizing scholar athletes at Triangle Area Schools. If you'd like to nominate a high school athlete, head to WRALsportsfan.com keyword award. I'm Dr. Miller, a dentist and a volunteer for Dental Lifeline Network. DLN asked dentists to volunteer to see just one patient per year who might not have access to proper oral health care. Join me in making a difference. Go to willyouseeone.org to learn more. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. You can feel the madness! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm WRL meteorologist Mike Mays. We are tracking a cold front heading closer to us. There will be a chance of rain this evening, more likely toward daybreak, the low 52. Rain is in the forecast tomorrow. Have that rain gear. There could even be a thunderstorm with the high at 61. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit NewcombandCompany.com. Five o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones down 31 points to 39,282. Market update brought to you by the Dugout Tavern and Grill, number one sports bar in Apex, and your March Hoops headquarters. It's 5 o'clock. Time to serve up the biggest sports stories of the day. Here comes your starting five. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Let's go ahead and jump into the starting five, starting with number five. I got five on it. Now this Friday, The Drive will be broadcasting live from Carolina Ale House in Cary. Yes, we will be. From 3 to 7. We'll get you primed for the Sweet 16, all the games coming up. State fans, Duke fans, you play that night. UNC fans will be breaking down your Thursday night game. Grab your seats, get your orders in before tip-off. The Drive Live from Carolina Alehouse in Cary this Friday. Once the games start, NC State fans are going to be in a real pickle. Friday at 7.09 on CBS. The Wolfpack men's basketball will play Marquette in the Sweet 16. A mere 21 days, or sorry, 21 minutes, not 21 days. Not three weeks later, although maybe that would make more sense. A, a mere 21 minutes later, according to the schedule, NC State women's basketball will be taking on Stanford on ESPN in the Sweet 16. ACC matchup. ACC matchup, true, Stanford. What in the heck? How does the NCAA allow this to happen? How? Boo! There are, I believe, three other teams that have both men's and women's Sweet 16. One is like a 7 o'clock game and a 10 o'clock game. Mm -hmm. The other two are on different days. Imagine that. Duke and UConn on different days. What are we doing here? Here's the problem I have with it. Okay? Here's the, 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 the main problem. Go on. It's the same. I, I said this earlier about uh, the NFL playing on Christmas. I'm fine with scheduling games to make it more convenient for more fans to watch. I want it that way. I understand it's an entertainment product. If there's a game that everyone in the country has off work, put the game on that day so you can watch. If there's a fan base like NC State where, let's be real, most of the NC State women's basketball fans are going to be NC State men's basketball fans and vice versa. Most of the men's basketball fans are going to be women's basketball fans for NC State. Why would you make them choose? Why? It seems like nothing. This tournament is built. Okay? The NCAA tournament in its basic structure is built to, to create fans. Right? If you went to NC State, if you're a fan of NC State, if you have 
wolf pack in your family. You probably want, I don't know, your your kids, your grandkids, your nieces and nephews to be NC State fans. You want to be able to expose them to as much as possible. You want to be able to have them enjoy the success as much as possible. The NCAA and and the, the networks are literally dividing it for no reason. And while we're on the subject, I have another bone to pick. Why do we have so many games starting at like 10.09? Yeah, that's kind of dumb. Why do we at 9.40? Why are games starting that late? Over the weekend, there was like one game at noon, and then all of a sudden there were 10 starting at like 8 o'clock at night. What is going on here? You know, I, I talk about my son. He's two, about to turn three at the end of the month. And, and I'm, I'm trying to build a basketball fan here. I'm trying to help you out, NCAA. I'm trying to make a somebody that is going to be uh, paying for your, your streaming package, right? B- buying whatever channels you need to put it on for the rest of his life. I'm trying to build a sports fan for you, and you're making it so I have to put him to bed before the pregame show starts. What are we doing here? And by the way, this isn't helping with, with NC State fans having like a everybody hates us style um, uh, like of, of thought. Here it is. I love this. The guy on Twitter, I posted the schedule and said, like, this is ridiculous. Why are these two men's state and women's state playing at the same time? Uh, somebody who goes on Twitter by unhinged pack fan. Okay. Which sounds right. Yep. Uh, put this out there in response to me. Gonzaga gets 730 and at 10 o'clock. That's the team that I was talking about. Mm-hmm. Duke and UConn get separate days. The conspiracy theories that the NCAA hates us will never stop getting concrete evidence, will they? It does. I mean, it, it's hard to argue against it. Is it bad that one of my first thoughts was like, this wouldn't happen to Duke? <laughs> Maybe it's a conspiracy theory. Maybe it's not. That's number five. Let's get to number four. We are the four horsemen. The NFL is changing their rules again. At the, the meetings, they got together and they voted. Huh. There it is again. Um, there's two majors, two major rule changes that I've seen. One, good. Well, actually, I don't even really want to say good. One, I'm open to. Sure. Another, bad. The one I'm open to is this new kickoff rule, um, which it's going to look... This is one of the most visually changing rules in football history. Mm-hmm. The kickoff is not going to look like a kickoff. There's going to be two not that we know it as. There's, yeah, I guess it's going to look like the new kickoff. Um, there's going to be two lines of ten players, five yards apart, like twenty yards in front of the kicker, twenty-five yards in front of the kicker, and then the kicker is going to kick it over them to the one player who's not on that line uh, or in that line across the the horizontal length of the field for the receiving team. And he's going to catch it, and then everything's going to go. And then it's going to be a a completely different-looking return. Here's why I'm open to it. It looks like what the XFL has done. Yes, it's... it's, If you've seen that before. There may have been some looking at the other guy's paper next to you during the test. Of course. Um, Here's why I'm open to it. I want returns. I want kick returns. It used to be electric. It used to, like... For the last like five years, kick return has been a pee break, right? It's all right. I'm gonna go. Go, I'm gonna go grab a snack. I'm gonna go in the other room. This is the time because nothing's gonna happen for me to go do something. Let the dog out. It used to be, hold on, I can't leave. There's gonna be a kickoff. <laughs> I want to get back to that because it's it's special teams. It's a third part of the game. If this does that and it prevents injuries, I'm for it, even if it looks different. The rule I'm not for is the hip drop tackle. They are banning the hip drop tackle. The reason why I don't like it is because I don't think anyone really knows what a hip drop tackle is and how hard it is to choose how you tackle once you engage with a ball carrier. Once you engage, once you get arms wrapped around a ball carrier, there's one thing you're doing, trying to get them on the ground. 
That's it. And 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 your body, your instincts take over. You kind of go full like primal brain. You go full like how do I get this person to the ground mode and to think and go, do I want to put my foot here? Do I want my legs there? No. Do I I'd sit back? It being a defender, being a defensive player in the NFL has to be one of the most frustrating things in the world. And they make it more and more difficult every day. Can't hit quarterbacks low, can't hit quarterbacks high. Can't hit wide receivers when they're defenseless. Have to keep your head on a swivel because they can still block you, but but you can't un- un- unload on them when they have the ball. Now, how you hit the guy who has – it used to be the only thing – all right, the only guy that was still kind of fair game was the ball carrier. Now there's a bunch of ways you can't hit them. I don't – listen, I played quarterback. I'm I'm <laughs> the one that benefits from all these rule changes. I'm looking at it going, well, that seems a little much. It just does. I was a linebacker, so I look at all these rules go, ah, oh, come on, of course. Like, I just – the game moves fast. Yeah. I love when they show you hip drop tackle in super slow motion and go, you can't do this. And I'm going, it was moving a little faster than that. Yeah. I love how there's the rule where, like, the, the running back can't lower their head. Mm-hmm. I was like, I've never once seen that that called. Only, like, uh, it's... Maybe they've been fined for it, like, post-game. I just haven't heard about it. But in terms of flag being thrown, I haven't seen that ever. I, I don't... I, I... I don't see... Do you know what is... And I this is an unpopular opinion. But I, I played the game, so I think... You know, I played at least up till college, so I feel like I have a little bit of an educated opinion. Why can't it be like boxing? Where in boxing, you sign the waivers, you say, I understand the risks, and then you go play the sport. There's nobody trying to take concussions out of boxing. Yeah. Where it's like, yeah, it's a dangerous sport. Mm-hmm. We're, we're aware it's a dangerous sport. If you don't want to play, you don't have to play. We've, we're seeing guys retire early. We're seeing guys, you know, get their first big contract and then retire. If that's the way you want to handle it, that's the way you want to handle it. That's fine. But I, it's, you know, I think you can treat it like a contact sport because it's a contact sport. That's number four. Let's get to number three. We got number three coming? One, there it is. Two, three. I, can, I can't go to the third topic without my owl from, from the old lollipop commercials. Uh, Dave Canales spoke to the media. Uh, we have that clip lined up. Yesterday, I asked for one thing when Canales spoke. As far as tangible thing, like tangible answers he could give to questions. I want him to have a plan for Bryce Young. I don't want him to be feeling his way through it. I don't want him to be ad-libbing as he goes along. I want a concrete plan that they will execute as time goes on. Here's what Canales gave when he talked about uh, Bryce earlier today. And everything. Yeah, so it's it's no different than the approach that we took with Russell, with Geno, with Baker, is we are going to become the concepts where Bryce looks most confident. And how do you tell that? Look at the firmness of the back foot on the delivery, whether it's a plant throw or one hitch. Mm. There's just this really solid look and an aggression just exploding off that back foot. You see it all across the league. You see those anticipatory throws. Well, these are concepts that these guys love. We'll start to hone in on some of those, but we're going to have to throw a lot at them to kind of discover those. But you talked about the footwork part, right? That's every year, every quarterback. We go right back to the basics. We start with the stance under center. We balance the feet, get your left foot into the instep of the right, okay, my chest is up, my eyes are up so I can see every part of the field. We take it from that basic starting point, regardless of how many years the quarterback's been in there, but we just take that, then we start to build the drop, then we build the footwork, and then specifically what you're saying, we look at the concept and we say, how can we make this footwork intelligent to this concept? Because if you watch, most quarterback footwork, they take about three steps from the gun. There's some real quarterback nerding out going on in, in, in that answer. There was another answer he gave, and I, I saw this reporting from David Newton, ESPN, uh, that he's he's legitimately like massively investing time in Bryce, which makes a ton of sense. Uh, but they're, they're going out to dinner. He said they've had a couple three-hour dinners, talking about life, talking about football. It's a lot of courses. Yeah, they, I mean, they started with some some appies, right? They, they got they got a uh, fries for the table. Um, <laughs> they got some some I don't know. 
spinach artichoke dip. I, I don't I don't know what their their ordering was, um, but I but what I like about it is these two guys are part of how many times are we gonna say it the four horsemen of the franchise, right? You need your owner, your GM, your head coach, and your quarterback to not just be like in agreement on the basics of how they want to play. They need to trust each other with their careers, right? Dave Canales' career, in a lot of ways, is hinging on Bryce Young. And Bryce Young's career is darn sure hinging on Dave Canales. So those two guys better not just be like, yeah, I understand what he wants to do on third down. It better be like, I trust him to watch my kids, right? Like, it, 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 I'm not saying they're literally using like Bryce Young as a babysitter, but it's that kind of trust. You need to get to know the person. You need to know what makes them tick. You need to know more than just like a, hey, you know, we spent a couple years together working together. So I'm, I'm, I like that they're diving into the nuances of his footwork. I like that they're diving into the nuances of life. I like that they're diving into to long dinners. It doesn't have to be dinner. Maybe they play golf together. Maybe they have some other hobby that they're really into. I don't know. But, but the more and more those guys are aligned, think of it like all the best collaborations you've seen between coach and quarterback, right? Sean Payton and Drew Brees. Right, Belichick and Brady before that went sour at the end. But the reason why it's so bitter, right? The the, the worst breakups are the ones that had the most intense love affair. Like the, the, they were they were two peas in a pod there for a while. Manning and Moore, their old offensive coordinator. Like the the coaches and the quarterbacks need to be on the, uh, the same page more so than just coworkers. That's number three. Let's get to number two. Just the two of us. Canes play tonight in Pittsburgh. Yeah, they do. There's actually... You can listen to that on the fan, by Oh, there you go. It's a hockey night in Carolina, right here on 99.9 The Fan. Uh, There's two reunions happening tonight. Gensel reunion in Pittsburgh. Mike Bunting reunion against the Canes. Yeah, the forgotten Carolina hurricane this season, I feel like. And, and, And... I mean, it's just you were traded in a in a package for Gensel, and he's been playing so well that there hasn't really been a lot of buyer's remorse. <laughs> but, I, hey, whatever the Canes get as far as accolades, Bunting deserves his share. He played really well at times this year. Uh, he's, he's a part of the group. But if somebody is going to be bitter about the way things ended – Bunting's probably that guy, right? Gensel's like, I went from a team that appreciated me to a team that really appreciates me, right? I don't, I don't hate anybody in this breakdown. Um, Bunting is probably like, man, I really wish I could have saw that Kane season through. Feel like we were clicking in a lot of, a lot of ways. So uh, be prepared for a little bit of a bitter Bunting. You know, do with that what you will. Um, but I, I have no ill will towards the guy. He just, you know, that's what the the... It's what the Penguins wanted in the trade. What it was. Got to do what you got to do. Uh, as far as Gensel goes, there's going to be a a tribute video. I'm against tribute videos as a whole. I, Dennis, are you are you for or are you pro or anti if you were running for like sports president? Would you run on the, the platform of pro or anti tribute videos? I would probably run on the platform of pro. Nah. I thought you were a true competitor. Yeah, I am. I thought you recognized that Jake Gensel is there to beat the Penguins. And that's they're fine. Gonna, and they're going to clap for him. That's why they do it during a commercial break. They're, they're going to clap so for him. So when the him, puck is dropped, And then go. he's going to go try to, to ruin all their hopes and dreams. That's fine. That's why you do it during a commercial break. Why, well, what does that matter? I'm talking about in the stadium, in the arena. Yeah, I know. I don't think people at home are going to be like standing and clapping for him. Oh, there you go. That's number two. Uh, by the way, again, like you said, you can hear that game right here, 99.9 The Fan, uh, and, and, and obviously Stormwatch before it, Aftermath, The Follow, all that good stuff. If they keep the goalie rotation going, my guess is Piotr could check off skate plays tonight. In which case, he'll be looking for a little bit of a redemption. He yeah. was he was a part of that wild and wacky Caps game on Friday. It was weird. It was Friday, right? Yeah. Uh, days bleed together. Um but when I say wild and wacky, wild and wacky. And and there were some people that slowed down a clip and thought he may have, you know, kicked, shoved with the back of his leg. There's some frustration shown by, by Piotr. Uh, but 
again, that game, wild and wacky. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not holding it. Uh, that's one of those games where you wake up and you're like, I don't know what happened. Let's just chalk it up as you lost in, in a sh- fifth round of a shootout and, and move on. Uh, that's number two. Let's get to number one. The one! There are five teams in the men's and women's NCAA tournaments from the triangle in the Sweet 16. That is absurd. Yesterday, we had to kind of dance around it a little bit because NC State was still playing, even though they looked like they were going to win. The women's game was still playing. Uh, So we said, you know, four, maybe five teams in the Sweet 16. They held on to win. Five teams from the triangle are in the Sweet 16. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Now, earlier today, during our Copper Drop segment, Dennis asked me a question. He said, will one of the five win the national championship? I gave my answer. Dennis, will one of the five win a national championship? Yes. Who? UNC men's basketball. How far does does anyone else make the final four? Here's the situation. Five of the remaining 32 teams are still playing. Mm -hmm. Five are from the triangle. 27 are not from the triangle. There is a one seed in UNC men's basketball. There is a three seed in NC State women's basketball. There is a four seed in Duke men's basketball. There is a seven seed in Duke women's basketball. And there is an 11 seed in NC State men's basketball. That's the setup. They ha- they, they, at this point, everyone they face is going to be good, whether they're facing a one seed like Houston or, a, 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 I don't know, some other seed. Like everybody that is one of the, the 32 remaining teams are pretty darn good. Um, how much celebration should we make sure we're taking care of now? And how much celebration are we like, you know what, next week we're going to be able to celebrate more teams? That's a good question. Because I think I think NC State women might have a chance. They got to beat Stanford, but and Texas. That's an ACC matchup. It is, uh, <laughs> which is hilarious to me. Um, so actually, another ACC team. Do you take celebrate that, it. Joe Lenardi? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> every every sport. Um, it it is truly. You know, I talk about appreciating greatness. I talk about doing it now. Here's my answer to that question. Right, you can do both. Mm -hmm. be excited right now for what we have going on in the triangle and if all five teams survive we'll do it all again next week right we'll do or we'll do it all uh again between thursday and saturday and between friday and sunday there's there's you know something to be said for uh being excited every step along the way and pick your team i know there's some fans out there that are never going to celebrate the other and i get it right there's some rivals that are like hey it's great when the ACC does well as long as it's not them. I get it. But at the same time, you know, next year, the year after, the year after, you're going to want the the reputations of those teams to be good when you beat them. Uh, so it's all good. Also, you want to eliminate them. Can I just say that? Do you know what do you know how many games I want my rival to win? Every single game aside from the ones I play. I want them to go undefeated against everybody else and defeated against me. I mean, Duke and North Carolina, what was it, two years ago, played in the Final Four. You don't think it's more sweet for North Carolina that Duke was there? Like, you want them to win right up until they play you. Oh, yeah. And then you want to end it. So, in a a weird kind of cynical way, I think you're rooting for the other teams from the triangle. And and right up until the brackets say you should play each other, and then you want to be the one to end the season. You, you I mean, would it be, you know, would you still raise a banner if you won and it was against, uh, I'm just going to, Marquette? Sure. But it would mean a little bit more to your fan base if it were against NC State, if you're Carolina, right? Or vice versa, if, if it were against Carolina and you're a state fan. You want those rivalries to matter. Uh, the, the Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I want to tell you about my friends over at Miller Lending, and, of course, that means Gordon Miller. Timing, timing, timing. Timing is everything, right? A team might take right up until it's win or go home to start playing well, but as long as they do it at that time, well, you know, no harm, no foul. That's not always the case in the mortgage market. You might hold off on buy, buying a house. Hold off, hold off, as long as you can. But guess what? You need somewhere to live. Your lease is up. 
So you go and you buy a, buy a house and, and you can't always decide what the market's going to say. Well, there's a lot of rumblings that the Fed is either going to put a cap on the, 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 the rates or even maybe some cuts coming up in the future. That is where Miller Lending can really uh, help you out, right? With no closing cost loans, as the rates drop, especially if they drop considerably, you can go ahead and refinance a few different times and you don't have to take money out of your pocket. That's the best part. The no cost, the no fees, zero means zero. So as the rates drop in the next few months, in the next few years, whenever that is, you and Miller Lending can have yourself as prepared as possible to make sure you are getting the lowest rate. And that goes doubly for those that locked in a, a sky high rate over the last couple of years when, when rates did get up there pretty high. So be prepared. Give them a call. 919-447-3377. That's 919-447-3377. Or you can visit them online at MillerLending.com. That's MillerLending.com. Miller Lending is an equal housing lender, and I'm less number 252146. We're going to take a break, but we have the numbers game coming up, so we need a couple of contestants. The tickets we'll be giving away to the winner are a pair of tickets to see Stained and Breaking Benjamin. They're coming to Coastal Credit Union Music Park on Saturday, September 21st, with special guests Daughtry and Lakeview. If you want to play the numbers game, call in now, 919-860-5326. 919-860-5326. Numbers game, coming up after this. Get crazy, Canes fans. It's hockey night in Carolina. He scores! Dmitry Orlov picks the corner, and the Canes take a 2-1 lead. Storm watch with Adam Gold at 6.30. Puck drop at 7. Second chance, they score! Yes, Burke Bost knocks it home. On your exclusive home for the Carolina Hurricanes, 99.9 The Fan. Your heart, it's the only one you have. Fortunately, you also have a choice. Expert cardiologists, talented surgeons, highly skilled specialists, all of whom chose WakeMed. Why? The main reason is the same reason patients choose WakeMed. Everything you need for the best possible care is right here. Learn more at WakeMed.org. WakeMed Heart and Vascular Physicians, your heart, your choice. The moment we've been waiting for has arrived. Download the Caesar Sportsbook app today using code NEWNC. Then place your first bet of $10 or more, and win or lose, you'll receive $250 in bonus bets. Open to new users in North Carolina who are 21 or older. Terms and conditions apply. See Caesars.com backslash promos or the promos tab in the app for full terms. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagamenc.gov. Tribal Casino Gaming Enterprise is a licensed operator by the North Carolina State Lottery Commission. March, as we all know, is a critical time to check your home's windows. I'm Tim Donnelly, and if yours are cracked or leaking or won't stay open or won't open at all, then it's time to call the pros at Window Nation. Right now, for every two windows you buy, you'll get two windows free, plus zero down, zero interest, and no payments for 24 months. With proven quality and service, it's no wonder thousands have trusted Window Nation. Don't miss out. Call 866-90-NATION or visit windownation.com to schedule your free in-home estimate. The always ready for breakfast deal. Going to bed already? Yep. Breakfast at Mickey D's tomorrow. So? Sooner I go to bed, sooner it'll be morning. Sooner I'll be at Mickey D's. This is actually brilliant. You can come too. Turn out that light. There's a deal for every breakfast strategist at McDonald's. For a limited time, you can buy a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit or sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddles for only $2.50. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Get ready for spring at Westlake Ace with the best brands like Steel, Ego, Scott's, and more. Right now, select Steel products are up to $60 off. And don't forget, Ace Rewards members save money every season. This month, 20-pound bags of Ace Bird Seed are just $11. Visit our two new locations at the corner of Rogers Lane and New Bern Avenue or on Leesville Road in Pinecrest Point. Westlake Ace Hardware, now with five convenient locations in Raleigh. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks.
Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, and the process is 100% online. To start your free online visit, go to hymns.com slash joy. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Your new Academy Sports and Outdoor store is now open in Nightdale. It's the sporting goods store that's all about fun, where you'll always find the gear you need to enjoy the outdoors, play the games you love, and create memories that will last forever. Find great brands at the best prices in-store and online. Your next adventure starts at the new Academy Sports and Outdoor store, now open in Nightdale. Visit Academy and have fun out there. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Time to play the numbers game. Today on the line we have Stained and Breaking Benjamin tickets. They are coming to Coastal Credit Union Music Park on Saturday, September 21st with special guests Daughtry and Lakeview. Competing for those tickets will be Taryn and Raleigh and Matt and Apex. Taryn, will go to you first. We always ask a question, pick our favorite answer to see who gets to go first. Uh, and earlier today, we had this conversation with Casey Morsell, a member of the NC State men's basketball team. They, after each win, get ice cream. So we asked what his order was. If you, after a, a big win, got to go to an ice cream uh, parlor and get whatever flavor and toppings you wanted, what's your ice cream order? Oh, I'd have to say chocolate chip cookie dough with caramel on top. I, you had me a chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm not sure the caramel on top would be my move, but we'll see if, it, if it's uh, good enough to get the win. Uh, Matt and Apex, same question to you. Big win. You worked hard. You're going to the ice cream pl- uh, place to, to celebrate. What's the order? I got kids, so we got to make it nice and clean up friendly. So we're going to do like a chocolate peanut butter milkshake. Uh, so that way, no cleanup required. I, I respect the parent move. Um I just I think I like the other order better, uh, but I do respect the I mean the the being able to toss out the whole sh- shake and straw and everything and and not worry about the the spillage is a veteran move of the of the parenting game. Respect but, the practicality on that. But Taryn does get to go first, so sit on the line, Matt. You'll have your chance to to win the tickets. Uh, Taryn, are you there? I'm here. Yep. All right. Here are the categories: NFL Texas alum in the pros, NFL Florida State alum in the pros. NBA under 35, that's all jerseys under the number 35, and NHL, Canes and Whalers only. Which uh, which category do you want to start with? I'm going to go with NHL. NHL? All right, these are all Canes and Whalers players. I will read the player and the team. I will read the team, even though we know what team it is in this category, just to keep it equal with the other categories. Uh, you give me the jersey number as quickly as you can. There will be 30 seconds on the clock. You do have one pass if you want to use it. Any questions before we get started? Nope, we're good to go. All right, your time will start when you hear the horn. Jake Gensel, Carolina Hurricanes. 30. Incorrect. Glenn Wesley, Carolina Hurricanes. 17. Incorrect. Jake Gensel, Carolina Hurricanes. 35. Incorrect. Glenn Wesley, Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, Nine. Incorrect. Jake Gensel, Carolina Hurricanes. 56. Incorrect. Glenn Wesley, Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, 12. Incorrect. Jake Gensel, Carolina Hurricanes. Pass. Uh, d- <sighs> ah. <laughs> I will say you were getting closer. I, I, oh, darn. Were, were you just were you were just firing shots there and seeing if anything stuck? Oh, yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> All right. Well, well, Jake Gensel was number 59. Your most recent guess was 56, so you were moving in the oh. right direction. Uh, Glenn yeah. Wesley, number two. You got as close as nine, but then you threw a 12 out there. And when you started with the tw, I was like, oh, she might have it. She didn't. But, uh, <laughs> no, I didn't. but you were close. Uh, that doesn't count for anything. Uh, so that's an oh, offer. Luckily for you, though, by way of going first, if there is a tie at zero, you are the winner. So stay on the line and we'll see if it, uh, it holds up. Although I do have to say, I hope it doesn't. Um, Matt and Apex, are you there? 
Yes, sir. All right, here are the categories that remain for you to choose from. NFL, Texas alum in the pros, NFL, Florida State alum in the pros, or NBA under 35? Uh, let's do NFL, FSU in the pros. All right. Um, you need to get one to win. Uh, yesterday we did have an offer to start, and then the next one went perfect. So no pressure on getting a perfect score, but it has happened. Um, I will give you the team and the player. You give me the jersey number. Work as quickly as you can because there's only 30 seconds on the clock. You do have one pass if you need it. Any last-second clarifications? No, thank you. All right. Your time will start when you hear the horn. Deion Sanders, Atlanta Falcons. 21. Correct. Jalen Ramsey, Los Angeles Rams. Uh, eight. Incorrect. Jameis Winston, New Orleans Saints. Ooh, it's three. No, three. Incorrect. Jalen Ramsey, Los Angeles Rams. Half. Uh, Kelvin Benjamin, Carolina Panthers. 81. Incorrect. Jameis Winston, New Orleans Saints. One. Incorrect. Jalen Ramsey, Los Angeles Rams. Ten. Incorrect. Uh, Ke- uh, that was so bad. I shouldn't have told you you only needed one because you got exactly that. <laughs> Uh, Deion Sanders did wear number 21 with the Falcons. Jalen Ramsey actually wore two different numbers with the Rams. He wore number 20 and number five. Uh, Jameis with the Saints, you were close. You went with three. That's what he wore in Tampa. Uh, He wore number two with the Saints. Uh, Then Kelvin Benjamin with the Carolina Panthers. I believe you got a crack at that one as well. Uh, He wore number 13 with the Panthers. Um, So it wasn't the best showing in the world, but the stain tickets with Breaking Benjamin and special guest Daughtry and Lakeview are yours. Congratulations. Thank you. So, uh, prob- I mean, you're going to be able to find a babysitter. You said you got the kids. You're going to, I assume, not take them to the stain concert. You'll be all right tracking them down? I'll be all right. All right. Sounds good. Sit on the line. Dennis has some info he needs to get from you to make sure you get the tickets. Uh, but thank you for, for everyone uh, playing. You know, yesterday spoiled us, to be honest. We had an Ofer and then a perfect five for five, and it just it reminded me that it's possible. So then when we started with an Ofer today, uh, a zero, I got my hopes up, and uh, and then we got a one. Womp womp womp. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into another thing that got my 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 uh, womp womps out. Right, another thing that got me down. The NFL is banning the hip drop tackle. We talked about it earlier. Do you? There are a few things. I am not somebody, by the way, right, that says if you've never played a sport, you shouldn't be able to talk about that sport. Obviously, I don't say it or else I wouldn't be able to talk about, a you know, every sport. <laughs> like, I could only talk about basketball up to the high school level. I could only talk about hockey to the, hey, I can skate in circles level. Like, that, I wouldn't be – I think if you put in the work, you put in the research, you walk, watch the games, you should be allowed to talk about it. But I also think there is a role for – if you're going to make rules and regulations that are that are dealt with within gameplay, you have to talk to somebody. You have to have a pretty near consensus on the people that play within the gameplay. And if you talk to defensive players about banning the hip drop tackle, I think most of them are going to say, "How?" Like, and and this is defensive players. This might be because I was an offensive player, uh, but defensive players in football are the most overconfident individuals on the planet. They could give up a touchdown. They walk off the field talking about how great they are. It's just how they're wired. They will look at you and go, how good of an athlete do you think I am to think that I can look at Derrick Henry or Najee Harris or Saquon Barkley, and not only can I get them on the ground, but I can tackle them in the perfect way every time. Most of the time that that they're tackling DK Metcalf or A.J. Brown or or Kyle Pitts or any of these physical marvels is with pure desperation and whatever it, whatever it takes. You've already banned them, the defensive players, from above the shoulders, from below the knee. Now, now you're banning them from like the midsection if they're doing it in a certain way. It's just too hard. It's too difficult. It's like telling a quarterback you can't complete a pass unless you you put it, you know, either on their face mask or in, on their chest in front of them. It's like, well, sometimes I'm going to be inaccurate with the throw and my receiver is going to make the catch anyway. Sometimes defensive players go in with all intentions of being a form tackle. Head up, butt down, 
step, dip, hit, wrap, and drive, but then the running back moves. <laughs> then the ball carrier jukes, and suddenly it's whatever you can do to get him on the ground. And guess what that's called? Tackling. It's not called a hip drop tackle or a rugby tackle or a this tackle or that tackle. It's called coach. He was a big dude. He was very athletic, and I, I got him on the ground. How awesome was that? It's just, it's, it is that. So I'm anti-banning the hip drop tackle. And I'm not for injuries, right? I'm, I'm all for, like, I, I get sick watching people get hurt. I like when they cut out the horse collar tackle. I'm like, that makes perfect sense. Yes. I, I Even some of those, I'm like, well, he didn't start off trying to do that. Like, some of, like the ones where it's super obvious you're just chasing them from behind and you're like, there's a handle. Let me reach into the back of their, their shoulder pads. That's stupid. But now you can't do that. You can't dive and let your weight bring them down as a hip drop. How do you tackle someone from behind? If someone's running down the sideline and you have an angle on them and you're going to catch them from behind, how in the world do you tackle them? Lasso. When, when you're the smaller player. If you're the bigger player, you can kind of do like a dive and, and tip thing. But if you if you have DK Metcalf running down the sideline and you are, um, let me think of a, a, like Tyron Matthew. Let's be real. Tyron Matthews probably not catching DK from behind. But let's just pretend there's somebody that's an undersized corner catching them from behind. I don't think I think the only thing you jump on their back and you just go for a piggyback ride. And then like I don't know, you get half the touchdown when he scores. I don't know what you do there. I have no clue. And that's a problem. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99-9 the fan. Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Lone Pronto. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Low Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes with almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle. You can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Here's the thing your home value. It's way up. You can use that to wipe out all that credit card debt. You can get some money out for a home improvement project. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. Call now, 919-381-1760, 919-381-1760, loanpronto.com, 919-381-1760, and MLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan, gambling in sports. It's been in the news a lot over the last few days. I'll tell you why that may not be as bad of a thing as some are making it out to be. The scandals. Coming up. We buy any car. We buy any car. We buy any car. Any, any, any. Did you know trading in your car at a dealer could cost you money? Research shows consumers who trade in their car pay an average of $990 more. So don't trade in, sell it to We Buy Any Car. Get your free online valuation now at We Buy Any Car. Research published in the Journal of Industrial Economics December 2015 showed buyers with a trade-in pay an average of $990 more than those who do not trade in their used cars. At Bet365, they don't do ordinary. They believe that every sport should be epic. Every point, every game, every layup, every play. From the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. See for yourself when you sign up today and you'll get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just $5. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary. At Bet365, official partner of the Charlotte Hornets. 21 plus only. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. Terms and conditions apply. It's bow time. Sometimes the craving for Bojangles Supremes is so strong you just gotta have them. Even when your gas tank is on empty and Bojangles is still 10 miles down the highway. Nothing beats the flavor of Bojangles Juicy Golden Supremes, especially when they're part of a perfect combo with four boldly seasoned chicken Supremes, a made-from-scratch biscuit, fixin', and some legendary iced tea. The only thing that can satisfy your hunger is that delicious southern flavor. So when the craving is supreme, put the pedal to the metal. It's bow time. There's no time like bow time. 
time to stop whatever you're doing for some of that bodacious Bojangles flavor. Satisfy your craving for flavor and your passion for boneless chicken with Bojangles Four Piece Supreme's Dinner. Four perfectly seasoned Cajun fried whole breast tenderloin fillets. Choice of fixin', a made from scratch buttermilk biscuit, and Bojangles legendary iced tea. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's Bow Time. Avenged Sevenfold in concert. A7X. Friday, March 29th, PNC Arena, Raleigh. With special guests, Poppy and Sullivan King. Tickets are on sale now at LiveNation.com. Avenged Sevenfold. Live. Produced by Live Nation. New album, Life is But a Dream. Out now. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with the reliable performance and power of steel battery tools. From hedge trimmers and mowers to string trimmers and more, save on select steel battery tools. Right now, save $50 on the RMA 460V lawnmower battery set. Real steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. With AK30 battery and AL101 charger. Offer valid for a limited time only while supplies last. See participating dealer for details. A happy place comes in many colors. Whatever your color, bring happiness home with Serta Pro Painters and make your happy place your home. Serta Pro Painters, that's painting happy. During our spring sales event, get 10% off any home painting project, $2,500 or more, when you schedule before April 30th. Get started today at CertaPro.com. Each CertaPro painter's business is independently owned and operated. Home improvement contractor registration numbers are available at CertaPro.com. Heard the catchphrase that's sweeping the nation? Jackson, Hugh, yeah! People are saying Jackson, Hugh, yeah to Jackson Hewitt because they love saving money on tax prep. Do you love saving money? Then switch to Jackson Hewitt today and pay less than last year. Thousands of people have already made the switch. Why haven't you? Stop waiting and start filing. You won't get a better deal or a better catchphrase. All together now. Jackson Hugh, yeah! Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. This is the time of year to enjoy life, isn't it? Everything starting to bloom? Well, stop letting that pain in your joints keep you from doing what you want to do this spring. Call QC Kinetics now. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative medicine, and I'm talking about lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. Adam Gold here, and this is a fact. QC Kinetics. Kinetics is literally transforming lives. Their advanced treatments harness your own body's ability to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades, but now this life-changing treatment is available for you. So you can walk and run and climb and play and do anything you want pain-free. No pain pills, no surgery, all natural solutions. Live your best life this spring and summer. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. 919 919- 919-400-5473. 919-400-5473. Four locations. Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest. QC Kinetics. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. For a few different reasons, sports gambling has been in the news recently. Apt music coming out of break. Uh... One of them is it's it just recently, within the last month, became legal to sports gamble mobile betting uh, on your phone here in North Carolina. Just 15 days ago. Look at that. I don't. I try not to do too much math on air. I've gotten myself into uh, into embarrassing situations that way. Um, another is Shohei Otani. I'm sure many of you have heard. Mi- I don't even know what to call this. Mixed up in mixed up in a situation. Involving his interpreter and 4.5 million in payouts to an illegal bookmaker. Yes, like I, I don't want to imply any kind of guilt. We don't know. We don't know what the investigations will show, but it does appear as if there were payments made of 4.5 million to an illegal bookmaker. Uh, John Tay Porter, if you missed this uh, in the NBA, he is under investigation due to some abnormal betting trends around his play. Basically, according to Adrian Wojnarowski of ESPN. Some big bets were placed on some prop unders for him. So, for example, uh, if the line was set at at point five threes, which means if he makes a single three pointer, the over would hit. 
Uh, and if he makes zero, the under would hit. That would be a winning bet. Um, big bets were placed on the under. And in those games, he played a couple of minutes before taking himself out with either an injury or an illness. That's going to raise some antennas from the, the gambling regulators, and it did. The Shohei deal, the Porter deal, seem to be the bad parts of, of sports gambling. And I will say there are bad parts. I mean, I just uh, co-hosted a podcast, which you can find uh, everywhere podcasts can be found, including our YouTube page, with Brian Murphy of WRAL about sports gambling becoming legal in North Carolina. It's the latest season of uh, A Brief History of Triangle Sports. Um, please check it out. It's on legal gambling in North Carolina. And in that, we talk about the Dixie Classic. We talk like which is a scandal that happened decades and decades ago. Like, there is a bad part of sports gambling. There is a a grimy underside, which has been there for years, decades, centuries. That's the part no one's mentioning. That it's been there for centuries, right? John Tay Porter, this situation happens, and I'm seeing a lot of commentary of... Oh, no, this is what the NBA exposed themselves to when gambling became legal. And I'm going, you think the things that stopped people from doing this is whether it was legal or not? If you're willing to break the law or fix a game or or try to insider trade, if you're willing to break those rules, you think you were stopped by like, well, it's not legal in my state. I don't think so. If there's a good thing about legal sports gambling, it might be that they have really, really smart people monitoring it now, and it's kind of on the up and up. What I mean by that is, I don't know if we, if John Tay Porter, they're going to do the investigation, if that happened or if a situation like that happened, my guess is they used to kind of get away with it. Or they could if it took place. Again, I don't have any like concrete, like, oh, it happened in 96. Like, we don't know. But I do know that there's a whole industry now that is very aware that if these situations happen and go unchecked that the entire uh, like uh uh appearance of fair and equality in sports will disintegrate quickly so they're doing everything they can to find them and bookmakers are going to make sure that they're going to find the anomalies because they could lose money oh big like like, select like big time money so, yeah, of course they're going to be on their P's and Q's looking for any of the of these anomalies or, like, wait, why all of a sudden is there, like, an influx of cash from, like, this one account towards this one thing that no one really bets on? Okay, why? One of the games that is is, is under investigation, according to, again, uh, ESPN's reporting, for Jonte Porter is March 20th. By March 25th, he was held out of games for personal reasons, and there's this investigation going on. That's pretty darn quick. I mean, that's uh, that's kind of unreal, right? DraftKings Sportsbook, which is uh, I'm reading this out of the the uh, reporting by Adrian Wojnarowski, the each day following as part of a daily report to users on betting results stated that the under on Porter's three pointers was the biggest money winner for betters of any NBA player prop from games that evening. That's kind of transparency that would never take place. You wouldn't have some underground bookie putting out a statement each day going, here are the bets where bettors made the most on on each evening, right? It was all behind closed doors. So, like, yes, there will be be these moments. There will be these moments when when things get a little bit hairy. But, you know, I I, I don't think it's all doom and gloom the way it's being presented in, in some circles. Everybody, I want to remind you, The Drive, this show with me and Dennis, will be broadcasting live from Carolina Alehouse in Cary on Friday afternoon. We'll get you primed for a historic night of Sweet 16 college basketball. State fans, Duke fans, you're going to be getting ready. You're going to be working the jitters out. Maybe a little nervous, right? It's a big, big, big game. Join us early. Grab your seats and get your orders in before tip-off so you can focus all your, your vibes on the game. The Drive, live Friday from Carolina Alehouse in Cary this Friday beginning at 3 o'clock and going pretty much right up until the games get started. 
Uh, also, Tim Donnelly here for DraftKings Sportsbook. The wait is over. An official sports betting partner of NASCAR, DraftKings Sportsbook is now live in North Carolina. You can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in North Carolina with DraftKings. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with promo code TIMD, that's T-I-M-D, and bet $5, will receive $250 instantly in bonus bets. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, and more, with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using code TIMD, that's T-I-M-D, with no spaces, and bet $5 to get $250 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code TIMD. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 877-185-543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and used under license. With that being said... Coming up after this will be Overdrive on 99.9 The Fan, and we're going to get things started with a simple question. What can State do today, tomorrow, right, non-game days, to get themselves ready for the Marquette game uh, in the Sweet 16, things that might be the difference between winning and going to the Elite Eight and seeing the run end? That's to start Overdrive right here on 99.9 The Fan. We'll see you tomorrow for more at 3. Until then, have a great night, everybody. Bring on the madness. To the left, McCain a three. Wow! McCain with his eight three-pointer. It's a Blue Devil beatdown in Brooklyn. 93-55, to the 